almost a year of Scorp. Thank you. Firestar. Execute me no ink blank. Thanks. So many. Frigga. Today's day of soppy. Glooby bop galoobo bop. Weebo. Wo TV? In my computer? Wild. Been busy with work so I haven't been able to watch streams all month. Glad to be back. Almost two years woke. Smile I love having a good time on the internet. Sixteen months. That's a long. TV real?
tree moths. Hope everyone had a safe Halloween. Don't forget to floss. I'm scared of these jack-o'-lanterns, ah, ah, ah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I hope they let you play the cool shows like Cyber Kids. Spooky TV broadcast. So scary. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Almost two whole years. Um, it's Still sitting, still sitting. Still... Were we TV channel time? Who were? Still sitting, still sitting. Jack o' lanterns named after an American businessman who invented them in 1835 in an effort to sell more pumpkins. His name was Jack Muff. Jesus is Lord, Lord, Lord. I think Remington's Fist is a pretty cool company that puts out very good products and should never be sensitive ah. Yippee. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry.
I know that it's it's November third. Kino. I know it's November third. I know I shouldn't have done that. That we're well past that, but I just can't help myself. It's not. It's not over. It's not over. This is included in my basic <laughs> cable package. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Welcome Whoa. to the channel, oh, yeah. Scorp TV. Thank you, thank you for the subs. Thank you, thank you for this level six boost train. Welcome to the stream tonight. This is the birth of Scorp TV. Halloween has come and go, but fear is forever. That's why the pumpkins are still up. I'm not gonna get rid of the pumpkins until December. <clears throat> That's our rule here. That's our rule here. We don't we don't move on that quickly. I saw November 2nd. November 2nd. No ah! Scaring you back. Hold on, my sub dust is somehow in ad mode. Sorry, I had to. You can't do that shit to me. It's not Halloween. I don't expect it anymore. Thank you for that. Thank you for that kind dono. Thank you for the scary number 66.6. Six. As, I, as I was saying earlier, Halloween, it don't end on October 31st, November. We keep it scary all month long. So we're keeping the we're keeping the pumpkins up. Now tonight's game. Like Garfieldy Gaming just shattered a ball. What the hell? Garfieldy Game uh Garfieldy Gaming, thank you for shattering that ball. November is actually just October 2nd. No, no, no more shattering. It is. We are now officially in October. AKA in October. Oh, great. Awesome. Uh No nub September. <laughs> oh, All right, are you done? I think that's done. Awesome. Wow, great. Thanks. One more, I guess. Tonight. Thank you, Il Honey, for the prime soup. Enjoy, enjoy your chips. And thank you, NZ, for the 25 months. A lot of seeing lots of uh, some red froggers, some purple froggers. <clears throat> The purple froggers are, uh... Wow. That's some real advanced shit. That's 24... 24 plus months. Inverted arrow with the New York pizza. A little slice of New York. Happy truck timber. Advanced stages of sickness. I don't know. Maybe? Two-year-old. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> Incredibly New York accents. Thank you. I was just trying New York, New York. Tried so you hard on been that. Here long enough. Put me down. <laughs> you got um, 
you got one, two, three, four, five. Five months until you turn blue. Blue is a year, right? I'm pretty sure it's a year. So enjoy enjoy the your frogger's smile while you can. I think my channel is the only channel on Twitch where the sub badge gets worse the longer your sub. Wahoo. Wahi. One one month sub, Frogger is a huge smile. See, look at look at Ilhoni's sub badge. There's a huge smile on Frogger. And you got the purple sickness Froggers. It's, my my badge deteriorates. Still sitting, still sitting, still sitting. I'm walking here, taxi. <laughs> ta ta taxi. Taxi. I was speaking of Britain. <laughs> Purple Cygnus. Speaking of Britain. Oh, for, oh, shit. Forgot I had to execute one of my followers today. Hold on. I hope I can be Purple Frog one day. All right. One lucky member gone. Now, anyways, let's move on. <laughs> um... Speaking of Britain, I'm pretty sure the game that we're playing tonight is very British. So... So you're gonna hear a lot- <laughs> Hey man. You're gonna hear a lot of talking like this! <laughs> this Calypso! <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people suck your dad. <laughs> That's like a part of the video that nobody really absorbs. Suck your dad. Suck your dad. Lucky I was wearing my bulletproof vest today. Yeah, it was, I mean, only one person. It's one, one lucky person. One lucky person. It's the luck of the draw. Um... So yes, I think this game is very British. I don't know much about this game aside from the fact that it has really good when reviews. When working TV in the past, you once had to think very fast. All that is now moot. You see, you... it's a hoot. None of this is for no, broadcast. No, 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 It's not October. No rhyming in the alerts. Thank you for the 27 months, but... Come on. Your accent is really good. You should be on the West End stage, governor. This game is very political. Yes, this game is literally, I th I'm pretty sure it's about like, um, it's about trying to run a news station. So there's like a bunch of like political stuff and like, I'm assuming violence because you're trying to censor stuff. Um, I don't know. You could imagine a game where you have to censor things that happen on live TV um, would uh, feature things. Uh, I looked at the I looked at the content warning and it it just says um we 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 just frequent strong language brief pixelated nudity and occasional scenes of violence in live action performances so we'll see I'm I'm very interested in this game though um it looks like fun it looks like a very unique FMV game I guess it's an FMV game but it's also like a time management game it looks like you have to like basically run all like the switches and the boards and stuff. Why can't they make an FMV game like the movie Hardcore Henry? What? 25 months? More than two years? The... you mean... um... I mean, there's a whole genre of those. But... I'm sure there's a first-person FMV shooter game. That must exist. It's minging. It's freaking minging. <laughs> You're mixing this game up with something else. Um, do light games gun? Do light gun games count? I've never played one of those. Well, I played Duck Hunt when I was a kid, I guess. Anyways, this game's very British. That's all I know. And you're supposed to run a TV channel, and you have to like control the boards. I'm very excited to see what this game is like. Let's hop in. 
let's hope in i was i was wondering what to stream today because i was like i'd like to stream today and um and it was either it was between that and stay out of the house stay out of house stay out of the house came out um let me turn this game down it's kind of loud for me But I feel like after playing, what was it? Oh my god, this loud in my ears. Oh yeah, this game British as fuck. There we go. Okay. What was I saying? Oh yeah. So I was gonna play a few other. I was gonna play like a few scary games, and I was like. Oh, this has been on my like wish list forever. I have heard like the reviews on Steam are like overwhelmingly positive. So I'm I'm very curious to see wh how, what this game is. Let's let's go. Content warning: British. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we're gonna I'm I'm sure we're gonna see some egregious shit. It's a a game about censoring shit on TV. So get get ready for that. Enter game name. Corp TV, baby. Story mode. Experience the story without the stress. Non-broadcast mechanics are off. Viewers are very forgiving. Intern. Less challenging. Non-broadcast mechanics are less demanding. Broadcaster. A balanced experience. Let's do broadcaster. A custom is really interesting. A custom difficulty? You don't see that in games a lot. A custom difficulty. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Oh, let me turn down alerts. Hold on a second. Thank you, rat bastard. Tell us the news now. The 12 months. Enjoy your blue frogger. Thank you, Holly Hollow. <laughs> this is so grandiose. This game is really loud. Want to see behind the scenes? Oh, there's a documentary on Steam. <laughs> right off the bat. Ooh. Turn right. Ah, who are those? Who are those people? I love my Tony Walkman. Look at my Tony! My Tony Walkman! <laughs> what was the- what was the- the Sony brand in that- in the- the Mortuary Assistant? S Sorny? Sorny and Tony are my favorites. This is like FNAF. Just kidding. Alright, mate! I wonder if that's realistic. I walk into I walk into CT. Well, y'all don't know what CTV is. The game is really quiet. It's it's because it's it's quiet in the game. His voice is quiet in the game. You know what? I feel like skipping this. How do I do that? Oh, that's fun. Oh shit, what was I supposed to? Oh yeah. So we haven't got long now till the broadcast. 
desk. Oh, do I have to conserve power? Is that is that the mechanic? You can see a load of on the Crazy left. Neil, my salad Pick weekly. And load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. Let's watch my salad weekly, and then exercise with the ham sleeves. And let's let's end on Crazy Neil. That seems like a late night, pre-Christmas, crazy comfy chair sale. You don't see if you make me go out and posture. Oh. Blue prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Oh. Going in five, four. Oh, it's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. <laughs> good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is tonight. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. News titles on screen too. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax. It's all gravy. Honest Andy's totally independent and corners the flood. Oh. Sports fan. Top chat. What the fuck? I'm fucking up already. Win sports fan. And a spoonful of sugar. Why do people tune out when I censor? Oh, fuck, people are tuning out. God damn it. Ah! Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. All right, gotta wait for it to vanish. We're waiting. Off too. Fuck, I can't resist. I wonder if they let me watch what I've done later on. Screen one, Jeremy. <laughs> oh my god, this is a nightmare. Use that slider that's flashing, or your scroll wheel, to move the wave up and down, keeping the green bit in the white bit. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately vague. Oh my god. This is like those games where you have to like cook like hot dogs and hamburgers and mi do milkshakes all at the same time. Right, it's going well. All you gotta do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too Where's the ad? Now the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, oh. press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I know oh, I see. The first one and the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. To hear the co-leader's acceptance speech. And three, two, one, advert. One minute back. Play the fucking ad, mate. Oh, oh shit. After the ads. What? Why? Wanker Snatch is running late. Oh. I thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse him with any big words. Hmm, that's the same policy we use with you. I thought that was our little secret. It's all right. He doesn't remember anything. <laughs> I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Oh shit. Am I not? Am I not? Oh no, it's playing. Okay. Build your collection week by week and very soon. Wicked. We made it to the first ad break. You're doing Ooh. great, mate. By the way, I ran an actual ad just now. <laughs> this next sequence is what we call a multicam sequence because you're going to be cutting between multiple cameras to keep things interesting. A lot of it's down to personal taste. I wonder how many people actually got it. <laughs> you got it. One, try and keep the shot on whoever is doing the talking. Two, don't stay on the same shot for too long. Ten seconds at the most. So if you're on the person who's talking, try and throw oh my God. your reaction short. No longer than ten seconds. Okay. Don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the audience want to see reaction shots no longer than three seconds. This is so much. I love it. I love it. I love this. They really didn't pull any punches. This is as complicated as it seems like it would be. I mean, the interface is obviously simplified, but. I want to cut back so bad. Getting in five, four, three. What? Scream one, Jeremy. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. 
But first Get ready to go to Megan on screen Megan four. Hits. Is here with the start of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan I did it. a correspondent. And today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare. Three, four, five. Screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is a to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say happy to be here with us? It's my last. Right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. <laughs> if this is why I can't work at a TV station, it would be so hard for me not to do this shit. Well, as I said to Peter at the rap, that's medicated. <laughs> He's a wonderful chap. He really is. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. What a wild ride this has been. What a reaction. I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And get back to who's talking. Character you play in this movie is quite it's really cool that they're able to like direct me and tell what I'm doing and how long I'm staying on it. Speaker. Oh. But seriously, yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role. Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember Bullet Man. A true story of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. A love, of course. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, obviously, who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it. For I'm fucking doing awards. it. I'm doing it. Those three little statues. Oh, on my fuck. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. Too long on this, mate. Is this really how they censor on live TV? Uh, yeah, they have uh, everything. Everything on live TV it runs on like I think it's like what a, like a three minute delay. Like or something you, like you. Afraid. some some live shows do like and a 15 second delay often, but usually everything runs on a delay so they could censor stuff doesn't it bleeding been on that show a bit long suffering the one's audience suffering the one's audience i suppose in the end i do it for the difference it makes i, in the end, I, do, it I do it for the people that i feel like so bored the little people <laughs> But most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I can bring about in the world. And today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well. <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very I cut too much. But, uh, it's so hard not to cut. I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. Oh! Oh, well, don't worry, won't do it. Okay, don't panic. Not fuck things up. Which opens next week. Right, let's swap the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, okay. Dr. Lodge Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Exciting stuff. Wow, you had to censor the. Cool, looks like Blunderclatch is losing it in the street. <laughs> No! It's a bit trickier this time, mate. Use that little flashing joystick to the left of the knob, hold down your middle mouse or alt on your keyboard, and as the frequency changes, match it to the white bit by dragging right. I think I don't know that. Oh, 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 wait, I wasn't listening. I wasn't listening. I wasn't listening. I'm so sorry. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Oh. The signal thing is, yeah, I understand why that's there. Upwards, mate, upwards. But I didn't listen. Doctor. I'm drowning, Lance, you said. You need to see this. Right, now let's match it back by going downwards. I killed the audience? No way. I think it's just this movie that they're showing killed the audience. The virus. The sterility. Oh, oh, oh. This formula. This formula. This, this is the key. We can stop it. Yes. Frankly, mate, you're lucky to still be on the air. Maybe get some practice in. 
What? I feel like I did that pretty. I guess I really fucked it up at the beginning. At the end of the clip, you'll want to play another ad. Remember to use the clock at the top to count your in. Right. I guess I better explain how to deal with bleeping out swear words. As yes, please. Notice, the broadcast screen here is about two seconds behind the master screen here. When someone says a naughty word, the bleep button lights up like this. Two seconds later, you'll hear that swear word going out on the broadcast, and you need to hold down the bleep button or the space bar on your keyboard for as long as the swear word lasts. It oh, can take a bit of practice. That's going to be really hard. Two things at once. Just stay calm, and you'll get it. And if you can't tell when to bleep, just above the button, you'll literally be able to see the sound. Oh wow! All you got to do is hold it down while the red bit is over the red line. Simple. Of course, I see. By eye, you'll have to take your eye off the screens. That's why real professionals do it by ear. Most yeah. people have the volume of the broadcast screen a little bit below the master screen. Let's set it now. These potentially true statistics are all As you turn it up, oh, I see. The advert getting louder. Oh, I see. Wow, this is really intricate. Like I say, it takes a little practice, but I'll try and help you through it, and soon we'll have you bleeping like a pro. Remember, button lights up. This is wild that you, uh, yeah, they actually give you, uh oh, sorry, oh, 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 no, I'm good. Oh, I see. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go live to advance headquarters by the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julius. So I just have to keep an eye out for a red. I'm ready to believe he's pissed. Okay. Well, uh, thank you all for coming. Okay, this is going to be. Where do I start? <laughs> He's a drink kid. They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They used every dirty, low-down, lying, southern bastard. Oh, I had against us. But you. I did. You saw right through their shit. I'm sorry about the language there. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. Makes me coarser than the ground. Remember the ten seconds. Oh. Nailed it. Oh shit. Who can blame Peter? Oh my god, this is so much. Throughout the campaign, the saved advice are not a political party. Damn it. How do I lose audience when doing that? That's so good. I would keep watching that show. You don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future. A better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. <laughs> they should be putting their <laughs> shit in their oh, shit. and their dusty checkbook. Again, no, policy no. put, but Again. not inaccurate. <laughs> I love that I'm just hanging on this shot. I'm just looking at him drinking. To pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the millions. You know the sort of probably you, you rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated communities. Tomorrow, we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the taxes in this country. <laughs> Or little <laughs> trust funds or creative accounting. A simpler, fairer, unavoidable set of tax laws. So, all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. And earlier today, Perfect. We revoked your passport. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? That's fine. But first, you're going to pay up. You're gonna pay back. Why do I keep getting red? Why do I keep getting red? From a nation of warring individuals into a team. To properly fund health and education. To raise the living standards of us all. The pundits said we'd have to raise billions. Billions. When we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute 
ferret shite. That shit. So do you posh twats? The people who pay you a pittance to serve them drinks in their Nailed private it. clubs. The Nailed it. You raise all you've got time to get even fucking richer. Advance oh, of this to say to you. <laughs> this is so hard. I love this. This is so good. It ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created it. It ends today. It ends today. Tomorrow, we'll start I love getting back to this dude. Again, just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, and until then, I suggest we all get pissed. I can't argue with that. <laughs> Thank you for your time. <laughs> well, an interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of advance. And our apologies for the fruity language. Hopefully, we got that bleak up for you. Uh, 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 oh, oh, because of those cuts. Okay. So, as the country braces itself for new government, that's all from us this evening at the night. <laughs> Is that a UK thing? With full coverage does it mean something does it mean something does it mean crash in the uk have a peaceful too many jump cuts yeah i need to and cool it good job right, everybody looks like you've got it now thanks for the help mate i've got to go ferry's about to leave probably won't be caked up back. language <laughs> caked up language i'm so sorry for the caked up language you should be so lucky i'll see you tomorrow night not coming for a drink no got a date lucky you try not to get murdered Oh my god, broadcast that was stressful. Oh god, I got rated so badly. Does this game have mod support? I don't know, I hope so. Eid. Eoi. Oh man. Some rude words were broadcast, an interference-free show, an exceedingly poor edit, sloppily timed commercial breaks. You received a significant reduction to pay? No! Shares. Where are these icons? World. This is the state of the world. The boss. I should I should put exceedingly poor edit somewhere in my bio. Oh, there's an archive. Oh shit! Fuck yeah! Let's start with broadcast. Click on it now. Click on it now. Over on the left, that's all the broadcasts that you've done. Click on any one of them and hit load tape. Once it's finished loading, you can use the rewind and the fast forward at the bottom there to help. Oh fuck yeah! Let's look at our great work now. But before that, let's take a look at what's. This is gonna be a mess. On channel one, at seven o'clock, it's the semi-final of the quotation game. And it's a nail-biting quiz tonight, as a team of nuclear physicists take on four old ladies from East Grinching. That's followed at 8pm by award-winning documentary series, The Shape of Now, which tonight looks at the history of the knee-length sock and its importance during the great blackouts of 1871. Not one to miss. At 9pm, sit back and relax with multiple award-winning movie, The Freedom of Being Colin. <laughs> this sounds British as fuck. As All of these sounds so British. Atkinson Blimey will be grilling his guest. Atkinson Blimey. And tonight sees a return for leading economist Katie Brightman. Finally, at midnight, it's the National Weather Report before we say good night until tomorrow. But now, it's time to join Jeremy Donaldson for the National Nightly News. Let's go. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main stories tonight. Moving on up. The election win that experts said just couldn't happen. Hopeful or hostile? <laughs> See, as global mega corporation Remington Fisk buys Honest Andy's totally independent and corners the flag. Stop chat. Stop chat. 
If I've been a good baller, Johnny Hamsley is when <laughs> and a spoonful of sugar. And of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the new <laughs> coming up on tonight. National Nightly News. Oh, <laughs> I forgot I was that I went that hard in the beginning. Holy shit. Oh, I'm crying. That got me. Oh my gosh. Stuff too. I'm not <laughs> oh, This is great. Bye. <laughs> But first, the votes are in, and it's a decisive win. <laughs> no the signal. The landslide victory, with an astonishing 81% of the popular vote, oh. is the biggest election win. Oh my God! Advance appealed to voters up and down the country with their bold Yeah, I don't know who would tune out of this. This is amazing. But critics have accused him of a severe lack of actual policies and of being deliberately. Oh my goodness. The opposition parties have all conceded defeat to Advance's overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. However, former Home Secretary... All right, staying on the shot. That's good. Has issued a Doing good. ...in which he comments that we have all been seduced by the shiny wrapping paper, but have yet to see the contents of the box. Sounds like sour grapes to me, Jeff. After the break, Megan Wolf will be speaking to a man whose grapes certainly aren't sour, the international heartthrob and inexplicable box office sensation that is Lawrence Blunderclatch. And later in the program, we'll be going live to Advance HQ to hear the co-leaders accept... What a name. That's all coming up after the break. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need you to... <laughs> I just didn't... <laughs> Come Celebrate the classic age of salad. So the ads are not... The ads don't, don't fuck up. The ads just play. Great cut. Great cuts here. Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners advance. But first, our very own culture reporter, Megan Wolf, is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today, I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare to the Shopbot films. I'm very Shop excited bot. to be joined today by none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. <laughs> I do hope you believe me when I tell you. <laughs> cuts it back to him. Among the greatest joys of my life. <laughs> May I say, having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> so you've just finished filming the latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Well, as I said to Peter at the rap, that's Peter <laughs> Jensen, the director. Do you know him? He's a wonderful chap. He really is. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. I said to Peter. What a wild ride this has been. <laughs> a great shot of her. I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, <laughs> yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role. So <laughs> the medicated. Rockman in Bullet Man. <laughs> Thank you, you alien centaur and modern Luigi. Of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. I think it's grossed over a billion. She's just like, mm, so yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards. All the <laughs> those three <laughs> little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Um, with it's all completely others, unnecessary. If you're not doing it before... Oh, yeah, I can't wait for the censor part, too. Oh, Although... That's a beautiful question, Megan. And not easy to answer. A rude language. Like you, I'm afraid. Cut me, and I will bleed. <laughs> this fucking guy. That's how it feels, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Bleeding. 
giving, suffering for one's audience. I suppose in the end, I do it for the difference it makes. I do it for the people that I inspire, the little people. But I do most it. Most of all, I think I do for it the for rock. the positive change that I can bring about in the world. And today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well. <laughs> 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 well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. <laughs> Uh, yes, well, um, sorry, I said that. No. <laughs> well, sorry. I think you've brought in a clip from the medicated, which opens next. Didn't week even attempt this to, to well, censor the, the second one. What's going on here? I'd be delighted. <laughs> this is a really pivotal scene where Just hanging on her for too long. Let's cut. <laughs> is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's <laughs> very survival. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Oh, I, I think. No. <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> this is so fucking good. I love this. <laughs> oh god, the interference! Oh, I really wasn't doing a good job. <laughs> to you, Miss Flanagan. No say. All for you. Dr. Hemlock. We're going to change the world, do you remember? But when I listened to you. Dr. Hemlock. You told me, but I didn't listen. Doctor. I'm drowning, Lance, you said. You need to see this. No, it's all too late. That's American accent. The virus. The sterility. This formula. This formula. This is, this is the key. This formula. Yes, yes. We can he's stop like, he will, he's, his American accent's really bad. We have to ask ourselves. I'm American. Shit. Dollar formula. <laughs> what is this? I'd watch that. I think it cut to commercial after it, yeah. Oh. Broom, broom, broom. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go live to advanced headquarters where the two leaders Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury are about to make their acceptance address. Oh God, here we go. for it, Pat. Okay, well, uh, thank you all for coming. And well, where do I start? What a day. <laughs> they said we couldn't do it. I feel like I censored him pretty well. I did a pretty good job. Low down lion, southern there you go. For you, the people, you saw right through there. Oh, wow, that. I did a great job. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. It makes me coarser than a granny. <laughs> Memorably put. <laughs> but to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Throughout the campaign, the say that advance are not a political party. A party is what you have when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change <laughs> things. But today is day one of a new future. A better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting their <laughs> pants on and opening their dusty check. I need to censor it more poorly next put, time. But not inaccurate. <laughs> Before we came out here to address the nation, we used our executive powers 
The goal for this game should be to do as badly as possible without getting a game over. I think that might be how I play it. Definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the millions. You know this, so I probably you you rather you don't, because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated communities. Tomorrow we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax in this country. <laughs> Sure, they trust funds or creative accounting. A simpler, fairer, unavoidable set of tax laws. So all you public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. And earlier today, you revoked your passports. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? That's fine. But first, you're going to pay up. You're going to pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals into a team. To properly fund health and education. To raise the living standards of us all. The pundits said we'd have to raise billions. But you'll see when we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute ferret <laughs> So to you posh twat. People oh, who pay your pittance to serve slipped a little bit on that one. Clubs, the, the people whose children you raise. So they've got time to get even <laughs> richer. Advance have this to say to you. <laughs> it ends today. We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards. It ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created it. It ends today. It ends today. Tomorrow, we'll start making it fair again. Just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, I suggest we all get I can't argue with that. <laughs> Thank you for your time. I wonder why that was should pissed to be, be bleeped out. Was well, that a well, curse? Interesting acceptance speech there from the leaders of advance. And oh, our apologies oh, for oh, the oh, 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 language. Oh, oh, Hopefully oh, we got oh, that bleeped oh, out oh, for you in time. That's the thing that almost killed me, is cutting to those other three shots that put me in the red last time. That's all from us this evening at the National Nightly News. We'll be back tomorrow with four Alright, I think nothing more interesting happens here. That was good. That was so funny. Alright, I'm ready to play more. Oh, what's rushes? Right, this is the rushes room. It's pretty simple. The four screens you can see, they're going to show you the four signals you got from the studio. Oh, wow. Broadcast. Difference is you can mute any combination. Oh, wow. You could actually watch this stuff. That's really comprehensive. When you're done listening to the backstage secrets, hit back. The music is so loud in this game. I'm going to have to turn it down. Well, I don't want to watch that stuff. Adverts, yeah, we know. Continue. Full fast forward and rewind controls are now available in the archive. Yeah, this game has been out for a minute. It's been out for a couple months, I think. So we're we're playing with a few quality of life stuff. Whoa. You arrive home to find a po post on the mat, most being nothing more than usual junk mail. One letter, however, catches your eye. The team wants to know you. You open it. <clears throat> it's a form from the new advanced government asking for information on all citizens. The rest of the questions are left for you to complete. They appear to be mandatory. Upon starting your job, you would be friendly, introduce yourself to your new co-workers, be productive and get to work immediately, ease yourself in and orient yourself with your new workplace. Oh, you orient myself. Um, a colleague in a different department has confided in you that they've been taking home confidential information. Confidential information. Now a file of minor importance has gone missing. <sighs> Report the vi- this music's so loud, I have to turn it down. How do I do that? I'm just gonna turn it down on my headphones. Um, cause I think on stream it's not too loud. 
Uh, report the violation to your supervisor immediately. Promise your colleague that you won't tell anyone. Recommend that your colleague reports it. Help your colleague cover up. Where do they where do they work? Depends on what they're doing. Depends on what the work is. If they're like, I've taken I've taken home a patient's information from a therapist office, they'd be like, uh please don't do that. <laughs> That's really bad. Recommend that your colleague I recommend that they report it because Because if the, what if it was like, it could be something innocuous that's like, it doesn't matter. Or it could be something like, oh, they're, they're taking a patient's information to stalk them. Like, you don't know what they're going to use it for. Uh, question three. An entire department was fired today for consistent underperformance. Your boss has put in place new targets that are significantly higher than the previous ones. Well, when I was working, I just kind of stayed, didn't have a choice. It's the annual company barbecue and you and your family have been invited. You are looking forward to enjoying a nice day out with friends and family or washing your hair that day. <laughs> what? Go if you're free, but wouldn't mind missing it. Have been practicing with your coworkers and think you'll win the talent contest this year. I'll wash my hair that day. Oh, that's an excuse for not going. I'd look forward to that. You've had a long successful career and are now about to retire. In your speech, you list your achievements and, a good, and the good memories you have of working there. Give an honest review of the pros and cons of the company and focus on issues and challenges you have faced while working there. Focus on issues and challenges. Like to relax alone doing things like listening to music or making models. Attend political rallies and stand up for what you believe in. Encourage and support your children with their hot. Why is it only, why can I only pick one of these? You know what? I love baseball. I play in my local sports team. I, I am, I, I'm on the Blue Jays. Your ideal ho holiday getaway would be surrounded by natural beauty, exploring somewhat unfamiliar, discovering new experiences and challenges, structured day at a theme park, romantic getaway, I don't know, explore. It is most important that the government keeps people safe, free, happy, equal. Let's do let's do a poll. I'm gonna put the pressure on the chat. You gotta pick one. What do you Detroit dialogue? Yeah, this is this is a bit of a Detroit question. I'm seeing one for happy, two for happy, three for happy, four for happy, one for equal. A lot of happy. Everyone just wants to be happy. Just happy. Thank you for your cooperation. Equi. It's late. Sam and the kids have gone to bed. You're just drying. Who's Sam? I have kids. You're just drying up your favorite coffee cup, a worn out souvenir of your first trip together. There in the garden, clutching a gaudy neon green suitcase, is Chris, Sam's sibling. I'm so sorry for bursting in so late, Alex. But I need a favor, and you're the only one I could ask. Are you okay? I don't need to worry about that. It's, it's you I came to see. I just need two minutes. You've heard about the Assets and Wealth Act. No. Chris's face is screwed up tight now. They're taking people's hard-earned money to fund the lazy. I'm not saying the top 1% or whatever don't have stupid money, but they can't afford it. Like me, we're going to lose everything, and that's why I'm here. What do you need? Why do I get the feeling I'm not going to like this? Chris's eyes seem to be, Chris's eyes seem to be wrestling comfortably on the floor tiles. Look, I know it's a lot to ask, but I need to borrow your passport. Oh, they did mention something about taking away passports. Chris is, a Chris is a rich boy. My passport? What for? Wait, what would, it, what would it be for? I don't think I'd give my passport, but I don't know what it's for. 
They've taken mine and half of the bloody countries, but people always say you and I look so similar. I need to leave before. Yeah, but would that work? If the picture's similar, but the name is different? I don't think, I don't think that works. I don't think you could just, I think the system's a bit more sophisticated than that. Surely there's another way. You're joking, right? I've always done right by you and Sam. I've treated you like children. We're family. Does that mean nothing to you? What was the reason that he gave for w wanting my passport? Was it just to travel? What was that? What, what? I didn't finish the last screen. To escape. To, to escape. To flee the country. No. Oh. Bout Nation, wave those flags. Chris spits so much for family loyalty, eh? Grabbing the nylon fluorescent suitcase, Chris disappears into the night. You go back to do the dishes, picking up Sam's cup again. The knot in your stomach tightens. How rich is Chris? Ooh, this looks like a juicy scene. Racist old postal worker as himself. <laughs> Mr. Stevens ass double. What is this? What are we gonna see? I'm excited. This is a whole oh. Why is Dave in the club? Let's turn the fan on. I wonder what the fan... Oh, to cool off the generator thing. I'm sure that's going to be a mechanic later. So yes, I know, I know, bro. Can we play this? Is this toy safe? Is this toy safe, Mr... <laughs> Mr. Snuggle Chugs? Let's play this. Remington Swiss must have toy for your child this Christmas. That should go in the middle. We're playing that. Um, Jude Kusho, an elegant new skin cream with a porky little twist. Let's let's put that at the beginning. People like cream. No, cream before bed. Alan James is coming soon to a medium-sized hall near you. That's uh, foreboding. Crazy Neil we, we showed last time. Should be played. Advanced. Introducing Advance's Go-Getters team team. Let's play Alan James. Right, you can see they finally got the old headline system up and working again. And the vision mix is already in headline mode because headlines always come at the start. It's really simple, mate. These two buttons at the bottom of the vision mixer, you can see they now have A and B on them. And they're to help you pick image A on the left. The missing Paul Marte tape. Or image B on the right bottom screen. Here. It's really simple. This little clock here will count down the number of seconds you have to make your decision. Provided you make a decision in that time, you're fine. And you can change your mind as much as you want until the clock reaches zero. But if you don't make any decision, you'll be fired before you oh, shit. make another choice. I just want to say one more thing, mate. The pictures you choose to show of these people, well, that's how the public is going to perceive them. And that's going to affect their lives. So like the adverts, <laughs> That's going to affect their lives. And we're all right, bye, Dave. Is this channel you think dogs have their own secret language? Yeah, the one that mistrusts the moon. Ten seconds, everybody. Not the best source of consumer advice, then. Don't blame me when it explodes. Going in five. This game looks hard. It's in the moment. It's pretty chaotic. I don't think I fully understood what the timer, the blue, the blue numbers are to the right of the buttons. At the end of Advance's first full week in office, we ask exactly who's leading this chart. Tonight, I'll be discussing what the new future might hold with a leading economist and radical free thinker. With the assets and wealth act on the brink of... Oh, that's how that works. With the vast majority of the country 
I'll be asking my guests. If we're on the way, they just look happier in this picture. Out with the old Remington Fisk has appointed Sophia Remington as their new CEO. The following photo taken from our archive. I gotta, I gotta do the, I gotta do the gambling picture. At the tender age of 23, becomes the youngest female CEO in history. Sophia Remington's appointment is a risk for the giant mega corporation. Sophia, as our regular viewers will be aware, has always been a wild child. And been romantically linked to several movie stars and sports personalities. In her first press conference this afternoon, Sophia announced a children's toy named Mr. Snugglehugs. Sophia promises it'll be all. Wait, is that what we have at the bottom? Have been That's the toy. Uh oh. Making a splash. Intrepid scientist Dr. David Wong and marine biologist Ingrid Swarthwagen Horgensport have today set off to explore Dante's taint. What? The recently discovered cave system was previously thought unreachable, but thanks to a new breakthrough in underwater flood technology, the pair hope to successfully reach the imposing central cavern and the undiscovered plant species it contains. That looks so happy. Of course, only the latest in a series of successful expeditions for this unlikely pair. In a joint statement about the dangers their team might face, it's where it's Dante's taint. We will face the plentiful it's an underwater cave. Like we always have. Playing the field. Rumors abound as sporting legend Johnny Hansleys. Oh my god. Bush, one of the capital's hottest clubs. <laughs> you gotta pick the vomit. While out celebrating being named Sports Personality of the Year last week, as reported by this very program. And judging from the anger and ferocity of that spread, <laughs> it looks like Johnny may have been celebrating a little bit too much. I certainly wouldn't want to be his dry cleaner. Oh fuck, I have to stop. And grievous bodily charm. With advance promising a radical new position on crime, how afraid should we actually be? I'll be going live around the country to talk with people who've They're happy. Wait, no, they're pointing a gun at the screen. Oh, shit. With more and more powers passing to the police and less and less oversight, are we using an advanced shaped sledgehammer to crack a nut? All that, a mega gorge for the group of young actors. I couldn't really tell what's happening in those pictures. To the new assets and wealth act firsthand. They'll be talking and performing later. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, wait, what? Why, why, why is it going down? What? What's happening? Oh, shit, with the interference. Oh, my God. Holy fuck. There we go. Oh, my God, my fucking ratings are in the toiler. Swift enactment of the Assets and Wealth Act, we're talking about advances first we can offer. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. New future holds. Joining me are Katie Brightman, a leading economist, and Alan James, author of Alan James is Right, The Free Man's Guide to Waking Up. <laughs> Alan, the government certainly haven't dragged their heels in delivering some of the legislation they promised. But what does the Wealth Act mean for us? Nothing, Jeremy. We're still vassal slaves, we're just in prettier cages. A confident dismissal there. Katie Brightman, do you agree? I'm afraid I don't, no. I think that Vance have realized the current economic system of unlimited, unending growth is untenable, so they're changing things up. There I agree with you. They're moving to the next step in the grand plan. The grand plan. It's all in my book. Alan James is right, Jeremy. <laughs> to become the great herd, ignorant, sterile, and short-lived. That's what they want. Or perhaps the advance have just realized that if we carry on the way we are, we will destroy ourselves. That's a great cover. A mad orgy of consumption, if you'll excuse the colorful metaphor. Yes, orgy is the right word. Only it'll be the overlords having an orgy on our poor broken backs. It's all in my book. Alan James is shamelessly self-promoting. <laughs> this is like I don't even have to edit this poorly. This is already chaos. Threats that the world powers have faced since the last great war. Yes, Katie's right. War is inevitable. Thank you, but that isn't. And this will not be a war like we've ever seen before. We're talking millions of deaths. We're talking high-tech weapons that can level entire cities. We're talking out of the wrong orifices. Mock me all you like, Jeremy. But when they murder your parents and they poison your food and they take you away to their camps for hypno brainwashing, we'll be laughing then. That might be a great way to sell books, Alan. But you know full well that isn't going to happen in a democracy. Democracy is dead. Yes, advance are radical, and change is always frightening. But the truth is 
that the Wealth and Assets Act has made more than 90% of the population wealthier and is on target to produce a permanent end to poverty. Bollocks! But what this young lady doesn't understand, Jeremy, is that... Ah! I felt like I did that properly. Maybe they've rebranded, but it's all a little circus act to keep us from seeing the tyrant behind the curtain. That's where you're wrong, Alan. For a start, they've mobilized the youth vote like we've never seen before. You say mobilize, I call it grooming. The grooming of an entire generation. This guy, this guy. Eternal bondage. No. Like pedophiles. But based on the facts, Katie, what are your positions? The Assets and Wealth Act is only. We need, we need a separate screen to cut to. All I can cut to is what's happening in the studio, and it's a mess. Cut the feed. Cut the feed. Or, as I call them in my book, Franken Science and OP Arts. Like opiates, see? Can we get back to the issue at hand, please? <laughs> this is the issue. It's all coming from the water, the chemicals. They're pumping it full of belief juice. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> If advanced lose their power after spending half of our GDP on dismantling infrastructure, that could be catastrophic. The catastrophe is that they're succeeding. They've got us sat here talking about their puppet show. All right, we're running out of time. Quickly, Alan. What a what a train wreck. A bleak space where we've all been figuratively sodomized into submission. Of course. Katie? We might be on the eve of a brave new world. God knows we need some change, but we need to be cautious. Let's walk forwards with our eyes open. Two very different visions of the future there. Alan James, Katie Brightman, thank you for joining me. Oh my god, I'm cutting so well here. I'll be investigating law and order before Megan meets some beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act. That's all coming up tonight on the National Nightly News. One minute back. You know, I think they might do Oh shit, oh shit. I hope so too, Jeremy. How much are you being paid by them then? Whew. Shut the fuck up, Alan. I've never heard so much shit in my life. <laughs> well, we'll see who's full of shit, won't we? Oh, I wish I could cut to this. I wish I could cut to this right now. I can't understand it for you. I wish you could cut away from commercials. Oh my god, we're running it. We're running a commercial for his shit. I didn't even know that was him. Oh my god, the ad. <laughs> <laughs> this game's great, holy shit. I'll slap you so hard with the truth. Facts out of your face. <laughs> this is great. God, I wish I could cut back to them yelling at each other. <laughs> Oh, 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 okay. That's the warning that I have to keep an eye on this, right? Social problem to the top of the list. Tonight, we go behind the headlines to make the people who live with the criminal justice system every day of their lives. First up, we there we go. A judge, a lawyer who sees the problems close up on the front line. Can you hear me, Gregory? Yes, I've got you, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. What's it like on the front line of the hard face with a cold hand of justice? Well, as you can imagine, well, as you can imagine. <laughs> we are the stars in this country. <laughs> ah, I have to not. Ah, oh, shit. Just to try and cope with the caseloads on our desk. Which must affect the quality of support you can offer. Oh, we can barely keep up with demand. Jeremy. Uh oh, hello. There just simply isn't enough being done at a systemic level. What's the happening? We need more support from ministers. We, I don't know. What are you doing? We need change at a structural level. <laughs> Who's that? Greg. Oh shit! Oh my god! I'll be at my mother's. Just hang on. No, the, the problem isn't a local one, Jeremy. It's nationwide. Just give me five minutes. I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Oh, I didn't mention your affairs. No. Oh shit! The affairs of the Justice Department that we should be concerned about. <laughs> Mr. Donaldson. Hello, Mrs. Jack. We need. <laughs> We need legislation to relieve the pressure on our public service. Sorry to interrupt the news, Mr. Donaldson. Can I have a moment to tell my husband I'm leaving him? Yes, I totally understand. Quite the picture of a burdened legal sector there. Gregory Judge, thank you for joining us. Gregory Judge, thank you for joining us. Police Chief Constable Bob Peel, a man with a very different perspective on our nation's crime. Sister, but not from you. When are you going to realize? Oh, I'm sure we all do. <laughs> yes, I love that. Let's me do this. I'm very aware. 
generally enjoying your neighbours without the risk of being terrorised by some thug with a knife. Uh, oh shit! So you feel the street simply. Oh, I thought I said fuck. Where have we gone wrong, Mom? Well, that's not a simple question, Jeremy. But I think it all comes down to moral decay. We've diluted our culture, touch with what it means to be a citizen of this once great country. Ah, ah, ah. As the okay. Noted in Sunday's sermon, we probably shouldn't have banned hanging. And to what do you attribute <laughs> this fucking this guy? Foreigners, gays and gypsies mainly. Oh, this is the racist postal worker. This clearly states that... Oh, bugger, hang on a moment. Jeremy, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Delia, Delia, could you give me a little help, please, dear? Delia, could you give me a little help, please, dear? Uh, as I was saying, Jesus didn't like immigrants much, did he? And just to be clear, what? I think it's the immigrants who are responsible for the moral oh, yeah. decay. Absolutely, Jeremy. A back in your box, Clive. Back in your box. <laughs> Delia, I really could use a little help with this. I'm oh, sorry, darling. I was saying oh. the badgers. Yes, I'm talking to Jeremy Dawson. Clive, could you put him back oh. in the box? Oh, Clive, now it's Wednesday. I wonder, uh, I would, it's not really punishing me for showing all this. Oh. The interference shit is really difficult to juggle. Okay. Hold on just a moment. Clive, I am not having this again. get back in your you As I was saying, Jeremy. Cheeks out. Oh, this is the ass. This is not the ass double. I love that the anchor's just like typical. Look, when our daughter Alice comes home with an A minus, does she go on a killing spree? No, she takes three of the pills and hides under the stairs like a normal child. Thank you, Bob. Bob Peel there. We're really locking down the police's position on morality points. And fuck. Good boy. I spoke to Mallory at the bridge. It's time to get to the heart of the matter. She says the hall is absolutely fine for Sunday. Burglary and menacing a swap. Happy birthday, Tony. Oop. Many happy returns, Penny. Many happy Cheers, Jez. Call me Titwank, Tony. Everybody else does. No, I'm not going to be doing that. Can you tell <laughs> us what it's like in prison, Tony? <laughs> Titwank, Tony. Hey! Prison's a mixed bag. Structure's quite nice, but it's a constant battle against institutionalization, as you can imagine. And obviously, Titwanks are quite hard to come by. I'm picking up that you're not alone there, Tony. Titwank, Tony. Hey! Yeah, sorry, my friends are throwing a surprise party. Good bunch of lads. Okay, well, we're trying to let you get back to that party as soon as possible. First, let me ask you this. Do you feel that your time spent in prison helped to rehabilitate you in any way, Tony? Tit wank Tony. Way! What is that? Way! I think asking that is an oversimplification. It sounds like it's getting quite busy there, Tony, but uh, let's try and soldier on. Since leaving custody, have you been able to find a new job? Yeah, all the boys are here. Big Chris. Little Chris. And Vampire Chris. What? This one, yeah? Yep. One sec, love. Chip on the news. One sec, love. Rehabilitation's difficult with the current system, Jez. Just not set up for it, you know? It's inherently unjust. So, oh boy, we got a clown. Oh my god, everyone's here. Oh shit. It seems like we've caught you at a bad time. Oh, I can't really hear you, mate. It's getting a bit busy here. Jesus. Yes, we uh, seem to be losing the signal here, Tony. fucking way. Let's believe that. Well, we're just trying to get that signal back. I think we... Yes, Tony? Well, we actually lost our train of thought there a little. Hopefully you, the viewer at home, have managed to gain a broader understanding of the serious and complex issues around law and order. <laughs> Lucky young thespians. Don't go away. We'll be back. After these messages. After these <laughs> a little censor at the end. Oh my god. Oh. The commercial break is a relief. I feel like a weight off of my shoulders. Ooh. 
This game is this game. I I I really am enjoying this game a lot. <laughs> Bye, Dave. I'm not doing that. Three, I'm not doing that. Welcome to Black. I'm Megan Wolf. And on tonight's culture <laughs> Wait, what? spot, I'll be chatting with one of the first beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act, a team of inspiring young people from Scritchford Sixth Form College who today received Is that Tony's letters there? What is that? Hey, friendship on a tour of local secondary schools. Welcome to you all. Well, let's start with you two, Harriet and Charlotte Wynn Stanley Dash Hamilton. Girls, you must be thrilled. We are, Megan. We're overwhelmed. I can't. To be Oops. Sorry. I've been censoring without hearing it. I have to turn the broadcast volume up a little bit. I'm the older, more popular one. <laughs> the Harriet and Trey were really the ones who came oh, up boy. with the whole idea. 23. So, Harry and I were shooting the breeze. <laughs> hey, friendship. Hey, let's actually do something. So I went to look for a drama teacher. Uh, but she'd been laid off due to budget cuts. Fortunately, I directed a pantomime when I was at university, so so I knew the ropes, as it were. Oh, right, yes, but you're the maths teacher, aren't you? Uh, yes, that's me, Jeff Algebra, maths teacher. Maths is what? really important. Oh, thanks, Steve. Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the oldest art forms in history, Aristotle. <laughs> This looked like it was so much fun to shoot and make. This is such a good idea for a game. I'm loving this game. And they touch us right back. I suppose with a surname like Algebra, there was really only one choice of career for me. <laughs> My wife, Angela, and I, we often laugh about it. <laughs> Angela Algebra. Yes. <laughs> We just want to bring a bit of song and joy into people's lives. And teach people about the difficult issues. The issues in the play are what really matter. And I think you're going to be showing us an extract from this play, aren't you? That's right. To put into context, I play a young first year who's having some troubles at school. Her character doesn't actually have a name, yeah? Because in a way, she's like all of us. It's like a metaphor. Maybe It's a metaphor. Maybe she's you, Megan. Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thanks, Steve. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to have a little chat with your teacher while you run off and get ready. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> That's it, that way. <clears throat> so, Jeff, when did you first hear about the grant? Uh, two days ago. A letter from Advance arrived at the school. Now, the headmaster thought it was all a prank, but his secretary retrieved it from his bin and brought it to me. Oh, you can see them putting on the mics and shit. That's interesting. But then Harriet and Trey rescued it, and uh, they, they, they rang the number at the bottom of the page, and next thing you know, we're on tour. Wow. Well, I think we can all guess which way you'll be voting from now on. Do you know what? It's funny, because Angela and I don't usually vote. We were not very political. I'm a mathematician, of course, and she's a paraplegic mainly, but we did used to watch that Peter Clements DIY show back in the day, and so we thought... What is that? Why not? Let's have a go with this whole democracy thing. Okay. And here we bally well are. I need this <laughs> setup. Up. Fucking brilliant! So, oh, shit. Have a look at a short I got it, I got it. Of, hey, friendship. The most British thing you've heard tonight. Oh, shit. Oh, this is a good shot. This is a good shot. Diary. <laughs> I had to do it. Another day of tears. Tears. Another day of fears. But still I walk the corridors alone. Alone. Dreading what might be around every corner. What's around the corner? What's around the corner? What's around the corner? Oh, hi Gary. Oh heavens no! It's Gary the Fist! Oh, Gary, Gary the, the Fist! What is this? Going somewhere, little first year? Great! I've been looking for some poor victim to bully all morning. But will this make me feel better about my violent father? Violent father. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm late for math. It's my favorite subject. And so 
important. It's so important. Matt is for losers. What? Matt is for losers. My arm's stuck, coach. Keep going, for fuck's sake. Right. Uh, uh, Matt is for losers. Now, give me your lunch money. Double lunch for me today, but why am I only truly happy when I'm eating? Not today, Gary the Fist. What do you mean, not today? Who are you? Oh, my arm's free coat. Brilliant. Keep going. Right, uh, uh, who are you to stand up for me? I, Gary the Fist. And you're just a sad little girl with two gay dads who's all alone. That's where you're wrong, Gary the Fist. These are my two <laughs> the new friends. The first. Vanessa is captain of the netball team. Yeah. And Blake owns a motorbike. Yeah. But, but, I can't fight all three of you. And I don't have any friends of my own. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at me. Take a little look at me. I have to sense I have to cut to the music now. I could be you. She could be you. And you could be me. Oh, you could be me. I can be the cheek. Do you love a bit of uncomfortably dry British comedy? Yeah, this is very British comedy. <laughs> oh my god, there's like a whole like there's a rock band like timer there. For the oh my god, that's fun. <laughs> this game fucking rules. <laughs> hey, kids, I'm Gary the Fist. People think the folks like me probably shouldn't exist. But that's just prejudice. And I'd do better if you knew the way that I became Gary the Fist. Wait, oh fuck, I pressed censor. That beep was very poorly timed. I can't hear the- oh, because I turned the broadcast volume down, that's why. Ooh, I got an achievement called Feel the Music. Oh, he's there! There's our boy! My name's Jeremy Dalton. Have a peaceful night. And we're out. Oh, that was brilliant. Oh, adverts. Shit. Was that? I believe. Oh my God. What a gig. I've got a 14-inch cock, but it doesn't make it so. I have a similar belief about an adequate paycheck. Oh, someone please get these twats out of my studio. Broadcast complete. Oh, I can't wait to watch this shit. Yeah, my ratings are yo oh, B. I got a B for the music video part, I think. Let's see. Ooh, it started off rough. I think that's I think that's when I was really fucking up the interference at one point. But it started going up after that. I 
damn it. Alright, I want to watch that. It was a, a fallout. Advert timing was embarrassing. What's in store tonight on Channel One? Kicking off our evening schedule is a retrospective oh. of the best moments from Peter Clements, Just the Job. Reminding us just I don't, I don't watch or like ingest a lot of British uh, humor, so I forget how like dry and dark it is. An exclusive interview with former Prime Minister Jacob Hamilton Mann in Truth to Power, and she'll be asking him where it all went so horribly wrong. I'll certainly be tuning in for that. Finally tonight at 10 p.m. It's a bit of escapism. With is this game on Steam? Yeah, this game is on Steam. Pick it up. It's a ton of fun. Taking us up to the National Weather Report and close down at a quarter past midnight. But before all that, it's time to go over to Jeremy Donaldson for tonight's National Nightly News. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main headlines tonight. Destination unknown. At the end of Advance's first full week in office, we ask exactly... It's also like long enough that tonight, I don't really remember the cuts that I make at the beginning, so I'm very interested in... With the assets and wealth <laughs> Good pick. Brink of raising living standards for the vast majority of the country, I'll be asking my guests if we're on the way to a new future. Out with the old, Remington Smith have appointed Sophia Remington... Our humor is... What? The following photo... Our, our humor is defined entirely by the need to cope with the horrors of being British. <laughs> at the tender age of 23, becomes the youngest female CEO in history. Severe Let's go. Is a risk for the giant mega corporation. Severe, as our regular viewers will be aware, has always been a wild child <laughs> and has been romantically linked to several movie stars and sports personalities. In her first press conference this afternoon, Severe announced a children's toy named Mr. Snugglehearts. Severe promises would be all the rage this Christmas, but concerns have been raised about the product's safety. Making a splash. Intrepid scientist Dr. David Wong and marine biologist Ingrid Swarsborg and Horgensford have today set off to explore Dante's taint. The recently discovered cave system was previously thought unreachable, but thanks to a new breakthrough in underwater flower technology, the pair hope to successfully reach the imposing central cavern and the undiscovered plant species. Dante's Taint is a great name. This is, of course, only the latest in a series of successful expeditions for this unlikely pair. In a his fists are so clenched. I never noticed that. Yeah, his, his, his fists are clenched. challenges together like we always have. Playing the field, rumors abound as sporting legend Johnny Hamsleeves is snapped leaving Bush, one of the capital's hottest clubs. Bush. The footballer was caught while out celebrating being named Sports Personality of the Year last week, as reported by this program. <laughs> and judging from the angle and velocity of that spray, it looks like Johnny Mann's ass too much. I certainly wouldn't want to be his right here. And grievous body chance. With advanced policy and radical new position. Should we actually be? I kind of want to turn off the subtitles just because it kind of fucks me up when it censors and I know that it's not a curse. With more and more powers passing to the police and less and less oversight, are we using an advanced shaped sledgehammer to crack a nut? All that, a mega ball for the group of young actors who are already experiencing the positive side of the new Assets and Wealth Act firsthand. They'll be talking and performing later. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. National news <laughs> what <laughs> what happened there <laughs> oh that's oh yeah this is where i fucked up with the interference this was the big dip i fixed it though 10 seconds everybody <laughs> Government's swift enactment of the Assets and Wealth Act, we're talking about Advance's first week in office and what the new future holds. Joining me are Katie Brightman, a leading economist, and Alan James, author of Alan James is Right, The Free Man's Guide to Waking Up. Alan, the government certainly haven't dragged their heels on delivering some of the legislation they promised, but what does the Wealth Act mean for us? Nothing, Jeremy. We're still vassal slaves, we're just in prettier cages. A confident dismissal there. 
Katie Brightman, do you agree? I was cutting well here. I don't know. I think that advanced very professional. the current economic system of unlimited, unending growth is untenable. So they're changing things up. There I agree with you. Also, the acting has been very good. The acting has been great for it. Like, FMV games, not known for their acting. This has been amazing. Change is right, Jeremy. We're to become the great good. Ignorant, sterile, and short-lived. Wait, That's for this wait, for this part, I'm gonna turn off subtitles. Can I do that? Oh no, I can't without like losing where I'm at here. Oh well, I'll just try not to read the subtitles. If we carry on the way we are, we will destroy ourselves and this planet in a mad orgy of consumption. If you'll excuse the colorful metaphor. <laughs> yes, orgy is the right word. Only it'll be the overlords having an orgy on our poor broken backs. It's all in my book. Alan James is shamelessly self-promoting. Katie, how do you think the rest of the world will respond to this new approach? I think they're watching carefully. Advance the I could always fast forward back. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn off the subtitles for when we rewatch because it, I want to see it. Um, let's do uh, save and quit. Oh, God, where does. Oh, poor Jeremy's down in the drink. Things are looking rough. Jeremy Dawes. Our main headlines tonight. Daddy, it's starting! Uh, so let's see. Subtitles off. What a wild ride! What a wild ride! Take a look at what's in store tonight on Channel One. Kicking off our evening schedule is a retrospective of the best moments from Peter Clement's Just the Job reminding us just how our new prime minister became so popular in the first place following the all right fast forward up 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 there we go <laughs> that fucking picture My book, Alan James is right, Jeremy. We're to become the great bird, ignorant, sterile, and it's way better. That's what they want. Or perhaps advanced have just realized that if we carry on the way we are, we will destroy ourselves and this planet in a mad orgy of consumption. If you'll excuse the colorful metaphor. <laughs> yes, orgy is the right word. Only I was trying to censor orgy. orgy on our poor broken backs. It's all in my book. Alan James is shamelessly self promoting. Katie, how do you think the rest of the world will respond to this new approach? I think they're watching carefully. Advance the most disruptive threat that the world powers have faced since the last great war. Yes, Katie's right. War is inevitable. Thank you, but that isn't. And what this time. will not be a war like we've oh, that was seen a great before. Cut. We're talking millions of deaths. We're talking high-tech weapons that can level entire cities. We're talking out of the wrong orifices. Mock me all you like, Jeremy. And they murder your parents and they poison your food and they take you away to their camps for hypno brainwashing who will be laughing then that might be a great way to sell books alan but you know full well that isn't going to happen in a democracy democracy is dead yes advance are radical and change is always frightening but the truth is that the wealth and for jerry's in the middle of this 90 percent of the population wealthier and is on target to Poverty. bollocks <laughs> but what this young lady doesn't understand jeremy is that these are the same people Maybe they've rebranded, but it's all a little circus act to keep us from seeing the tyrant behind the curtain. That's where you're wrong, Alan. For a start, they've mobilized the youth vote like we've never seen. You say, guys, I call it grooming. The grooming of an entire generation to walk happily into eternal bondage. They're like psychic pedophiles. But based on the facts, Katie, what are your predictions? The Assets and Wealth Act is only the first step. Advanced now have a historic well, it would be surplus. what and would top it is if I could cut away services, to a like a, another screen for censoring the visuals unprecedented amounts into I feel like that's what was missing during for, when I was playing I it them in my book Franken science and opiates. like anytime pulls out the book I cut away like opiates see can we get back to the issue at hand please Alan this is the issue it's all coming from the water, the chemicals, they're pumping it full of belief juice. Don't get me wrong, I want to see these changes, but only if they're sustainable. If Advance lose their power after spending half of our GDP on dismantling infrastructure, that could be catastrophic. The catastrophe is that they're succeeding. They've got us sat here talking about their puppet show. All right, we're running out of time. Quickly, Alan, um, what does the future look like to you? 
A bleak space where we've all been figuratively sodomised into submission. Oh, of course. Katie? We might be on the eve of a brave new world. God knows we need some change, but we need to be cautious. You hate the guy to the point that, yes, yeah, so I mean... Two very different visions of the future there. Definitely going for that. Katie Brightman, thank you for joining me. When we come back, I'll be investigating law and order before Megan meets some beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act. That's all coming up tonight on the National Nightly News. One minute back. <laughs> you know, I think that. <laughs> I wish Alan that you. James. I wish that. Oh my God, we didn't get to see this ad. Alan James. Alan James is right. Alan James is right. I'm Alan James. Alan James <laughs> is right in front of you. I don't want to scare you, but you should be scared. There must be something in the food. I don't want to upset <laughs> you. <laughs> What? You should weep for the world. They're gonna take your poor sweet grandma. And I don't mean to shock you, but you need to wake up. I'm Alan James, and I'll slap you so hard with the truth, you'll still be picking facts out of your face the following What is that picture Wednesday? of code behind them? Alan James, coming to a city near you. Check local press for dates and times. Data battles? Is that what it's said? Uh? Welcome back. <laughs> our second segment, we're going to into the state of law and order in our country. Advance have already tasked what they are calling a solutions team to move this serious social problem to the top of the list. Tonight, we go behind the headlines to meet the people who live with the criminal justice system every day of their lives. First up, we have Gregory Judge, a lawyer who sees the problems close up <laughs> on the front line. Can you f***ing Gregory? Yes, I've got you, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. What's it like on the front line of the hard face of the cold hand of justice? Uh, well, as you imagine, <laughs> we understaffed in this country. Uh, we're working every hour we can just to try and cope with the caseloads on our desks. Which must affect the quality of support you can offer. Well, we can barely keep up with demand, Jeremy. Uh, there just simply isn't enough being done at a systemic level to relieve the problem. Greg. We need more support from ministers. We. Uh, what are you doing? We need change at a structural level, I'm Jeremy. leaving, Greg. Not a good time, darling. It never is, is it? I'll be at my mother's. Just hang on. The problem isn't a local one, Jeremy. It's nationwide. Just give me five minutes. I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Oh, have you mentioned your affairs? No. Well, uh, the affairs of the Justice Department that we should be concerned about Hello, Mr. Donaldson. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Judge. We need... Uh, <laughs> we need legislation <laughs> to relieve the pressure on our public service. Sorry servants. to interrupt the news, Mr. Donaldson. Can I have a moment to tell my husband I'm leaving him? Yes, I uh, totally understand. Quite the picture of a burdened legal sector there. Gregory Judge, thank you for joining us. Police Chief Constable Bob Peel, a man with a very different perspective on our nation's crime. Oh god, this part. Not from you. When are you going to realize? Oh, I'm sure we all do, Jeremy. <laughs> I'm sure we all long for a return to the days when you ping in the arse. I'm very aware. Generally enjoying your neighbors without the risk of being terrorized by some thug with a knife. Or kosh. So you feel the streets simply aren't safe anymore? Where have we gone wrong, Bob? Well, that's not a simple question, Jeremy, but I think it all comes down to moral decay. This is fucking, um... in our culture. The, what it means the, to be a citizen of this once <laughs> great country. Also, as the vicar noted in Sunday's sermon, we here we go. The band hanging. And to what do you attribute this moral decay? Foreigners, gays, and gypsies mainly. It's all in the Bible. Look, Leviticus clearly. Oh, stated, I missed the closet opening. Hang on a moment. Damn it, Jeremy! You bloody gimps escaped. <laughs> Delia, Delia, could you give me a little help, please, dear? Uh, as I was saying. Jesus didn't like immigrants much, did he? And just to be clear, you that think part it's the immigrants fucking who are for the moral <laughs> that decay. Fucking... Absolutely, Jeremy. Uh, back in your box, Clive. Back in your box. Delia, I really could use a little help with this. Oh, sorry, darling. I was spaying the badgers. Yes, yes, I'm Censor the slur. I'm not. This is not. This is, uh, we're revisiting the podcast. Back in your gift space. And you go, back in space. I can't, I can't, I can't censor. Well, it is certainly not the responsibility After the fact. Good white people. Darling, where's the padlock? Oh, hold on just a moment. I don't think, uh, yeah, this is post. I also don't think the game did not consider that. I basically only can know if something's going to be censored if I see, like, the red. Mummy, get back 
the red in the audio. Pixelation would have been great too. Moral decay. Crime is the responsibility of the criminal. No one else. Look, everyone has a sob story, but we don't. Man, like next time, it's very, it's very difficult. I don't know if you've seen the gameplay. Most of the time, I don't even know what they're saying. under the stairs, like a normal child. Thank you, Bob. Bob Peel there. Really locking down the police's position on morality voice. I basically can only rely on the on the audio wave image that they give me. She says the hall is absolutely fine for Sunday. After serving three years for aggravated assault. If the broadcast bit was a bit louder, I would know. But I think that would be an unwatch. Like it would be really hard to watch the stream if that was the case. Many happy returns, Tony. Cheers, Jez. Call me Titwank. Anybody else go? No, I'm not doing that. Can you tell us what it's like in prison, Tony? Tony. Prison's a mixed bag. Structure's quite nice, but it's a constant battle against institutionalization, as you can imagine. Obviously, tit are quite hard to come by. I'm picking up the general I, room, I got Tony. that one right on the nose. Tit wank, Tony. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my friends are throwing me a surprise party. Good bunch of lads. Okay, well, we're trying to get back to that party as soon as possible. First, let me ask you this. Do you feel that your time spent in prison helped to rehabilitate you in any way, Tony? Tit wank. <laughs> I don't think it's as easy as that, Jez. Yeah, I think asking that is an oversimplification. It sounds like it's getting quite busy there, Tony, but uh, let's try and soldier on. Since leaving custody, have you been able to find a new job? Yeah, all the boys are here. It's Big Chris, oi, oi. Little Chris, oi, oi. and Vampire Chris. This one's yeah. Yep. One sec, love. Soap and sock pen. Rehabilitation's difficult with the current system, Jez. Just not set up for it, you know? It's inherently unjust. Six months open. Open! So, do you feel tempted to... I'm sorry, who's this guy? Open! Name? You are joking. Chrissy Free Bollocks has only got Mr. Fancy, oh. Uh, <laughs> I censored the cloud board. Not now, fellas, I'm on the news. It's so... It seems like we've caught you at a Hello. bad time. The little boy. Oh, I can't really hear you, mate. It's getting a bit busy here. Jesus. Yes, we uh, seem to be losing the signal no here, Tony. Fucking leave that. Well, we're just trying to get that signal back. I think we. <laughs> yes, Tony. Tony, I mean, we're literally only two seconds. How does this happen, Tony? Can you hear me? Well. Uh, and I thought there a little. Hopefully you, the viewer at home, have managed to gain a broader understanding of the serious and complex issues around law and order. <laughs> Plucky young thespians, don't go away. <laughs> we'll be back <laughs> after these messages. <laughs> One minute back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> Oh, is that a, that's a Furby's face, straight up. Kids, you love them, we love them, and they just love Mr. Snugglehugs. Yeah! With his state-of-the-art human-like voice to keep them company when you can't. If you keep me happy, I'll keep you safe. And his incredible real action eyes. I hope your mommy and daddy don't die in a fire. That would be bad. It's no wonder <laughs> Mr. Snugglehugs is the gift your child wants this Christmas. All the other kids have got one. That's right, little one. You don't want to be left out. I only like people that have me as their friend. Oh, Mr. Snugglehugs, you're so silly. Mr. Snuggle Hugs is made overseas, but I couldn't finish that. Real action eyes. Welcomes Black, I'm Megan Wolf, and on tonight's Culture Spot, I'll be chatting <laughs> with one of the first beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act, a team of inspiring young people from Scritchford Sixth Form College, who today received a grant from Advance to take their play, Hey, Friendship on a tour of local secondary schools. Welcome to you all. Well, let's start with you two, Harriet and Charlotte in Stanley Dalton. 
We must be thrilled. <laughs> we are, Megan. We're overwhelmed, to be honest. <laughs> and I believe you two are sisters. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, shall well, is this? I you can't I process what's happening. I've not been able to process one. what's happening a lot <laughs> right now. There's a lot Harry going on in this Andre game. We're really the ones who came up with the whole idea. Yeah. So, Harry and I were shooting the breeze in the cafeteria, and I said, hey, let's actually do something. So I went to look for a drama teacher. Uh, but she'd been laid off due to budget cuts. Fortunately. I directed a pantomime when I was at university, so so I knew the ropes, as it were. Oh, right, yes, but you're the maths teacher, aren't you? Uh, yes, that's me, Jeff Algebra, maths teacher. Uh, maths is really important. Oh, thanks, Steve. Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. As is theatre. It's one of the oldest art forms in history, Aristotle. Theater. I just think that when we travel around all these problem schools and the poor kids see us, they say, hey, I really want to be like those attractive kids. And that's a very beautiful and powerful thing. <laughs> we touch our audiences and they touch us right back. I suppose with a surname like Algebra, there was really only one choice of career for me. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, Angela, and I, we often laugh about it. <laughs> Angela Algebra. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We just want to bring a bit of song <laughs> Her and joy face. into people's lives. And teach people about the difficult issues. The issues in the play are what really matter. And I think you're going to be showing us an extract from this play, aren't you? Yeah. That's right. To put into context, I play a young first year who's having some troubles at school. Her character doesn't actually have a name, yeah? Because in a way, she's like all, all of us. us. It's like a metaphor. Maybe she's you at home, or like, maybe she's you, Megan. Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. <laughs> Put it in, coach. Yes, thanks, Steve. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to have a little chat with your teacher while you run off and get ready. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> That's it, that way. <clears throat> <laughs> That's it, that way. Go over there. Go away. So, Jeff, yes. when did you first hear about the grant? Uh, two days ago. A letter from advance arrived at the school. Now, the headmaster thought it was all a prank, but his secretary retrieved it from his bin and brought it to me. Wow, how did you react? I also threw it in the bin. But then Harriet and Trey rescued it, and uh, they, they, they rang the number. That's the a nice car. Uh, well, well, you know, well, BTS we car. Wow. Well, I think we can all guess which way you'll be voting from now on. Do you know what? It's funny because Angela and I don't usually vote. We, we're not very political. I'm a mathematician, of course, and she's a paraplegic mainly. But we did used to watch that Peter Clements DIY show back her face, in the day. Her face, uh, her so face, her face. Uh, why not? Just like ah. Uh, this whole democracy <laughs> thing. Okay. And here we bally well are. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> so let's have a look at a short section of Hey, Friendship. Very wild. Life. This this game is this game. There's some characters in this fucking game. Oh oh. <laughs> Oops. I'm not sure I can take another day at this school. Another day of tears. 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 Another day of fears. fears. Nailed it. Nailed but it. Still, I walk the corridors alone. Alone. Oh. Dreading what might be around every corner. What's around the corner? What's around the corner? What's around the corner? Oh, hi, Gary. Oh, heavens, no! It's Gary the Fist! Gary, Gary the, the Fist! Going somewhere, little first year? Great. I've been looking for some I thought they were like Harry Potter robes for a second when they, when I first saw them. Better about my violent father. Violent father. Excuse me. I'm late. Like that particular That's looks my like subject. and so important. Uh, Matt is for losers. What? Matt is for losers. My arm's stuck, coach. Keep going for sake. Right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, maths is for losers. Now, I, I censored that pretty running. well. A bit too much censoring, but. for me today, but why am I only truly happy when I'm eating? Not today, Gary the Fist. What do you mean, not today? Who are you? Oh, my arm's free coat. Brilliant, keep going. Oh, right. He's so happy about it. Who are you to stand up Brilliant. for Brilliant. I'm Gary the Fist, and you're just a sad little girl with two gay dads who's all alone. That's you're wrong, Gary the Fist. These are my two new. Friends. I was really behind on censoring Fist. You're a captain of the netball team. Yeah. And Blake owns a motorbike. Yeah. But, but, I can't fight all three of you, and I don't have any friends of my own.
Great cut there. <laughs> Great cut. God, I wish. Take a look at me. The only sad part is, like, Take a you definitely get reprimanded for editing something like this, but fuck. It'll be so much fun. I could be you. She could be you. And you could be me. Oh, you could be me. Life can be If you work as a team, it's my choice to be made. <laughs> Hey, friendship. This does capture. Oh, this part is great. Hey, listen up. I won't take no crap. Who said middle class girls can't rap? I ain't afraid of your mother loving rebel, but I still love that. Great cuts. Great cuts. Hey, kid, Gary. <laughs> oh, this would have been a great part to just censor the whole thing. Just censor his entire verse. I grew up on a council estate. The park was hip, but the flats weren't great. My dad used to come. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? Oh, oh. You want to do you want to steal the in the instrumental of this? I th I think the soundtrack exists on Steam. I'm pretty sure. These are kids from a rich school playing poor kids from poor schools. Yep. I guess life's pretty hard on a council estate. This this does a great job at illustrating the whole rich white people pretending. To give a shit about anyone else's problems. But they're trying so, so hard. This so I want I want this song. Thankfully, that's all we have time for tonight on the National Nightly News. Join us tomorrow night for all the headlines from across the country. My name's Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful night. And we're out. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> what the... <laughs> what the... What the... All right. Well, Holy shit, it's already been two hours. Question. All right, let's do day 15. I'm probably not finishing this tonight, but I don't know if we're going to rewatch every broadcast we do. That does literally double. Oh, yeah, I should turn captions back on. That literally does double the, the time we spend. But it's yeah, it's hard not to. Customize the, the difficulty of individual mechanics. That's really, I think this is one of the first games I've ever played that lets you customize difficulty. Okay. On, what's an accessibility? Oh, nice. Censoring, swear is political. Bad footage, good footage, neutral footage. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this, um, this whole thing. So yeah, I said no to Chris. 
You arrive home for after a long after another long shift a note waiting on your countertop. Chris has been evicted for not paying rent. Sam's gone to pick up Chris's stuff from the street. Don't wait up. Underline twice. This is your fault now, is it? You sulkily press play on the cheap horror film you're going to watch together. It used to absolutely terrify you as a kid, but always makes the two of you laugh. It's not the same without Sam. Just as you get to the good bit, the part where Candy decides to investigate alone, your 14-year-old son interrupts. He wants to go to a friend's house. He looks at you the only way a child can, pleading but somehow defiant. Be home by 11. Clearly surprised, the, he practically races out the door. You doze in front of the movie, wake, waiting for its return. You start awake, the sound of TV static, it's gone, midnight, and there's no sign of Charlie or Sam. March him home. Can I not call? I would rather, I would like to call. I did say be home by 11. Arriving at the friend's house, you find your son who miraculously notices the time when he sees you. He may think you were born yesterday, but at least he apologizes. You recognize that cheeky, mischievous look. Whoa. Tight. Oh, fuck. It's too early. You can't do this. You're sitting at the head of the table now, your dad's place. The snow has settled. It's been a tense afternoon, everyone can feel it. It's the first time you've seen Chris since you're first to- Oh, okay, that's why so much time passed. Papa John's ad, you're getting ads? <laughs> Wait, did I- t I think I might have turned on the ad- the ad scheduler by accident. Let me check that. Racing ad. Spectrum ad. <laughs> Why are you getting shit? Well, I guess it depends on where you are. Because Spectrum and Papa John's don't really exist here. Uh, let me check to see that. If I can turn that off. Okay, it is scheduled. So I'll turn that off for now. I don't know how much I get from ads. I have to actually check. But as far as I know, they haven't really been worth it so far. I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about that. I should be allowed to say something as vague as they, they're not really worth it to me right now. But some people out there getting offered fucked up amount of money for that. Christmas is usually such a nice time of year. It's crazy that the rates per view aren't the same. Yep, that's uh, that's big company. You got one five second Fortnite ad. I didn't even know they had five second ads. The clatter of cutlery is all that can be heard as Chris stares pointedly at you. Talk to grandma. Your mother stares vacantly at you, confused. She comes back to herself with a start of recognition. Thank you, Alex. I'm not looking forward to when my parents get so old that that starts happening. The clatter of cutlery. Chris stares pointedly at you. I'll make a toast. Merry Christmas, everyone. Glad we're all here. There are murmurs of cheers. Chris doesn't move. Yeah, we're all here. No thanks to you. Come on now. It's Christmas. Can't we put that behind us? Chris turns away. Hard for me to hard for me to feel bad for Chris if Chris was fucking loaded and is upset. 
and is upset about not being fucking loaded as fuck anymore. <laughs> My wealth. You know, me and my friends are planning on going and traveling this year. Well, I was hoping you'd help me with the money. I wouldn't hold your breath, Suze. Not known for your generosity, are you, Alex? I'm just gonna ignore Chris. You know, money's really tight right now. That grandma's staying here. But please, Harriet's parents are helping her. What? You promised. Oh, I didn't know I promised. The parent of the year goes to... You look to Sam for support, but none is forthcoming. Pay no attention, Suze. Alex, I have no clue how this is falling apart. Charlie excuses himself awkwardly as you start to clear the plates. Have you had a nice birthday, Pat? Your mother choosing. Merry fucking Christmas. I got an achievement. One time you got the entire Lego movie as an ad on YouTube. There's no way. Dear Winston residents, thank you for sending us your passports for approval. We can now confirm their receipt and validation for the new assets and wealth redemption scheme. As such, it is my pleasure to enclose a check, which we hope you will see as a symbol, not only of our gratitude to you, but our unwavering commitment to creating a society free of inequality. The throbbing of your... F oh, I was reading the throbbing of your flesh. The throbbing of your fresh, speed-induced paper cut is the only reason you can believe you're awake. We will continue to strive for the betterment of this nation and its people. The weight of your financial burdens lessens slightly. It's bliss. What does the zip on this damn case of the... This is a bit too much. I want to get back to the game. Just a bit of... Oh, no kids, no work. We're going on vacation. Just a bit of romance. Good evening, Alex. This is Mr. Bozeman. I'm calling you to inform you that you're required to work this weekend. Oh, no. Some information has come to light concerning the rising tensions between our nation and foreign powers, and the National Nightly News team will be working around the clock to ensure we break the story first. Needless to say, I will expect you, your attendance tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Shark. Shark. Sharp. Sam comes downstairs. They grab, their car they grab the car keys from the dish and start to load your bags into the back. Gotta go into work. I gotta go into work. I just wanna play the game. <laughs> to be completely honest. <laughs> I chose that option because I wanna play. <laughs> oh, your son Charlie hovers over your elbow. Do you like reaping the benefits of cooperation? Join the advanced go-getters today. So I can walk there straight from school. You sign the permission slip for your son to join the advanced go-getters. So I can walk there straight from school and Ben's sister can drop us home after. What is this? Join the fun, the advanced go-getters. You know what? That sounds like fun. Go ahead. How fun. We'll probably just be playing Fortnite. This will only be a good thing. They're gonna have egg sandwiches, egg and cucumber sandwiches. It's gonna be fine. Oh my God, I'm going to ticket. I got tickets to go see Alan James is right. Some guys at work gave them to me. They can't go. Sam stands up in front of you, branching two tickets. You see the title in bold letters, Alan James is right in front of you. Free tickets are free tickets. He's a character and it'll be hilarious if nothing else. This guy's a nut job. No. I'm sorry, you can't you say, but I can't sit through any more of his crap. 
Thank God I was worried you were gonna say yes. You decide to stay in and eat pizza. He was right there in front of us. We'll read the book instead. After a particularly long day at work, you come home to find the post sorted into piles. A letter with an increasingly familiar advanced logo and urgent respond immediately plastered on the front. This letter has informed you that the advanced government has taken another step towards our fight for equality by nationalizing the largest private corporations and redistributing their resources among the citizens of this great country. Part the partnership bonds programs. Every household will become a partner in one of three carefully selected institutions chosen by advance. Please note, all returns are based on public opinion and cannot be guaranteed. Eye of the Beholder Incorporated, whether it's cosmetics, clo clothing, or couture. Neil's Deals Limited. It's always a steal from Crazy Neil. Pleasure Corp. Our business is your pleasure. From sport travel to... I'm going with Crazy Neil. I can't wait. The future is in, of, of this nation is in partnership. There are versions of this without the non-broadcast segments. Yeah, I saw that there was a... You could play without that. I'm consider. I'm wondering. That was kind of long. Yeah, in terms of a stream, in terms of a stream, I'm more committed to the to the actual broadcasting part. Oh hell yeah. But also I assume that has something to do with the with the stuff that's being played on the broadcast as well. Yeah, it kind of feels like padding. Oh. Good evening, Alex. It's Boozman here. You're Where's Dave? While you're powering up and getting the adverts loaded, oh, I forgot. I thought I should just tell you that we've had one of those public information films from the government, and it's mandatory that you play it. You still have a free choice for the other two. So read those tape labels carefully, but make oh, sure whoops. you play the advanced Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, these are great. But did we play Jus de Cachon last time? A great show, total pimp. My God, that one looks nasty. Oh, how's it going with Steve? So oh, we'll play this one maybe at the one. middle. No. Sorry, are you saying he chose his imaginary friend in the sky over you? Um, you Tommy is Harris, is it is important to check your prostate. The joy of screws. Let's go with the joy of screws. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. And I'm Megan Wolf. Our main stories tonight. Uncooperative. A mysterious symbol has appeared overnight on thousands of buildings throughout the capital. Tonight, in an exclusive live interview with Prime That's a nicer looking picture. I'll be asking what this mysterious symbol might mean. After three months of record breaking approval ratings, could this be the daring first move of a silent resistance movement? And what would that mean as we go into the future? We shall overcome. Trapped in Dante's taint for more than a month now, doctors Ingrid Scoresboard and Hawkinsboard and David. David Wong announced today that they're considering two possible options. <laughs> That's fantastic. Working together, hopes are still high for the eventual return of the team to dry land. While both options are still on the table. I love that they were managed to take a perfectly clear picture. If a group of fungus experts can't fix the most advanced craft ever conceived by man, then who can? Bearing their opinions, the formerly rich. The echo is a two-second delay. Yeah. Our very own Robin Short was on hand earlier. That's why it's like this is. Oh, oh shit. Uh, uh, they look happy on the left. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's true. That's an instant fail. I forgot about that. There's a lot to keep track of in this game. It's gonna happen. What just happened? I didn't pick one of the options. They're trapped in Dante's Tate and you're laughing. Yes, I am. Turn broadcast volume up, please. No, I won't do that. It's too it's too much. It's there's too much going on for that to happen. There you go. 
The broadcast thing is only for censoring and like I could just rely on the visual. The seeing the red sound wave is very it's it's easy. Censoring is is like I think the only issue is no. there's some Sorry. words that they don't consider to be bad words and some words they do because I guess they're British. Oh, I didn't pick the tapes. Did your personality actually slip out? Pricks. Going five, four, three. Crazy Neil. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Dawson. Have I ever censored successfully? Yeah. Our main stories tonight. Uncooperative. A mysterious symbol has appeared overnight on thousands of buildings throughout the capital. Tonight, in an exclusive live interview with Prime Yeah, I mean, it is kind of FNAF-esque. The, the set, the... Just turning and looking like that, and the fan, you know, but... Could this be the daring first move of a silent resistance movement? And what would that mean as we go into the future? We shall overcome. Trapped in Dante, the idea of a leftist dictatorship in the UK is so unrealistic. Dr. I mean, Ingrid Sforsborg and Hogansford and David Wong announced today that they're considering two possible. I don't know how realistic this game is supposed to be. The finest minds in science working together. The devs are aware of the FNAFness of it. Of the team to dry land. Oh, oh, okay. I thought I fucked that up. On the table. Support seems to be growing for a Yeah, I mean, it seems to be done. If a group like intently, lovingly. Can't fix the most advanced craft ever conceived by man, then who can? Bearing their opinions, the formerly rich are fighting back with a naked protest. The formerly rich. Was on hand earlier today when this <laughs> oh fuck, I should have shown them. I'm going to show them with a gun. Presented themselves. <laughs> Spokesman Wentworth Somerset Bentley said today, they've had the shirts off our backs. They might as well have the west of it too. And while it's easy to laugh, perhaps we should all just be pondering how desperate the formerly rich are to regain their power. Fallen angel. Notorious addict Johnny Hansley seems to have reached a new low in his battle with booze as this recent picture. I love hanging on him on Jeremy. Certainly lacks its former glow these days, with public concern over his mental and physical health growing at an alarming rate. Let's hope that the team. I love this. Look at this rehab clinic sign. Johnny get back to his former glory. Johnny's family have asked for privacy during this difficult rehab clinic. We'll have reporters at the clinic around the clock so you don't miss a thing. Deep album cover, it does look like an album cover. About to become the bad boy of sports. And radical ideas. Oh, that was a good cut. To snuggle hugs disaster behind them. Remington's Fist CEO, Sophia Remington, today announced a surprising new project that already has the markets raising an eyebrow. Known for taking risks and bold strategies. Tunnel through earth. <laughs> moves. What is that? Down a dark alley, or taking it to a new level of success. <laughs> So we understand the mobile orientation Moves. operational borrowing service will be a new international travel system based around the construction of a major tunnel through the center of the earth. Sophia Remington claims it will make traveling from one side of the world to the other the matter of an afternoon. Geologists are concerned about the implications of digging a hole through the planet, while flat earthers claim it should be quite easy. With that exclusive prime ministerial interview coming up later, and our very own Patrick Bannon coming to you live from the first annual sports board final. You won't want to miss a second of tonight's National Nightly News. Where's my Thanks, seconds, everybody. Up. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to be cutting to that. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. This part's hard. There we go. Yeah, two of each. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 how am I fucking this up? What the fuck? Play for reals, I'm trying. I, I was, I don't know how that fucked up that bad. The static kills the audience. They should be used to it. Nothing wrong with a bit of static. Is there a variant of the game where you can zoom? No. This is pretty much the extent of the, this is like all the mechanics. You can remove mechanics. Like I could remove the frequency. Oh. There we go. I wonder when the fan is going to be important.
<clears throat> I could just remove the frequency thing because I don't know. That doesn't add anything to me. I think it's just supposed to, I mean, it's there just to stress you out. But. Sorry, are you saying he chose his imaginary friend in the sky over you? I don't know why I talked to you. The problem is really awful. The ad's in the wrong <laughs> slot. There's no order. All of you. Did your personality actually slip out? Pricks. Going in five, four. What do you mean wrong three. slot? They didn't tell me a specific slot. Boss said B? Good evening. I'm Jeremy Johnson. And I'm Megan Wolf. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I'm fucking up. I'm, I'm fucking up right now so bad. A mysterious symbol has appeared overnight on <laughs> thousands of buildings throughout the capital. Tonight, Why is it preferably B? You can play them out of order. Yeah, I don't think it's that important. Oh, fuck it. What this mysterious symbol might mean. Chat's wrong. Oh my god. Really? Could this be the daring first I should double back and check if I if I missed the egg. And what would that mean as we go into the future? I will ne Shallow never forgive chat for that fucking egg incident. Tanked for more than a month now, Doctors Ingrid Svorsborg and Horgensvord and David Wong announced today that they're considering two possible options. With two of the finest minds in science working together, hopes are still high for the eventual return of the team to What egg incident? Watch the Detroit Become Human VOD. You'll know. Seems to be growing for a daring escape. Fucking reloaded the game because people were saying I have to get an egg on the table for a good ending. Then who can? Bearing their opinions, the formerly rich are fighting back with a naked protest. Our very own Robin Short was on hand earlier today when this new protest group first presented themselves. <laughs> Spokesman Wentworth An egg on the table. An egg on the table. They've had the shirts off. An egg on the table. They might as well. I did get a picture instead, and it was important, but when I used it, it fucked everything up. Like it actually made I forget his name, Hank, was actually more upset at me after that. Fallen Angel? Notorious addict Johnny Hansleeve seems to have reached a new low in his battle with booze, as this recent picture reveals. Johnny's star certainly lacks his former glow these days, with public concern over his mental and physical health growing at an alarming rate. Let's hope that the team at the Gentle Touches Rehabilitation Center... That is, that is very album, album art-esque. Johnny's family have asked for privacy during this difficult time. We'll have reporters at the clinic around the clock, so you don't miss a thing. Is this one celebrated role model about to become the bad boy of sports? And radical ideas. In an attempt to put the Mr. Snuggle Hugs disaster behind them, Rimington's Fist CEO, Sophia Rimington, today announced a surprising new project that already has the markets raising an eyebrow. Known for taking risks and bold strategies, could the adventurous CEO be leading the business? I should pick the other one to see what that picture is. Oh, it's too late. Fuck. We understand the Mobile Orientation Operational Borrowing Service will be a new international travel system based around the construction oh, the picture of changed. tunnels through the center of the earth. Oh no, Sophia that's Rivington bad. claims it will make traveling from one side of the world to the other the matter of an afternoon. Geologists no, no, no more family, just sunset. Of digging a hole through the planet, while flat earthers claim it should be quite easy. The lads are gone. That that's an interesting little Tito. Coming up later. And our very coming up you love. You won't want to miss a second of tonight's National Monthly News. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. See, I don't like this part because it doesn't... Tonight, after the Christmas horror and Mr. Snuggle Hugs, we have an exclusive interview with one of the victims. Poor seven year old Timmy Tadlock, like so many of those affected by the Christmas bloodbath, has spent the last three months undergoing a series of reconstructive facial surgeries. What's, what's it week, beeping at me for? He spoke oh, I haven't changed the camera angle. The Sorry. Tonight, he talks to us. Before we go to the interview, however, this station would like to issue a full and frank apology for any part we may have played in the tragedy. Where's the train I bought when we went to advertise Mr. Snuggle Hugs? Without our publicity, the sheer scale of this tragedy, and now upwards of 8,000 casualties. Catlock in, please. On behalf of the nightly news team, we're sorry. That's right. Handsome. Better. Now it's over to Robin Short at the Tadlock family home. Robin? 
Thank you, Megan. I'm here with Mr. and Mrs. Tadlock and their seven-year-old son, Timothy. Thanks for spending time with us today. Thanks for spending any time with you at all, after what you lot did. Irresponsible. <laughs> I mean, whose idea was this anyway? It's, it's all right. Uh-oh. Okay. As you can see, Megan... Oh, my God, I didn't notice the kid in the bed. Here. I'll tread carefully. I'm going to speak to Timmy now. Hello, Timmy. Can you see me? Mummy? Who's that? Mummy? The lady from television, Timothy. She's going to ask you a few questions. Now you be careful now. It upsets me. I'm the youngest ever editor of the Swinstead Middle School Inquirer for no reason. So, Timmy, can you tell us what happened to you? You had just unwrapped Mr. Snugglehug's hand. Was he under the tree? Yes. There we go. I could see He smelled like love. <laughs> be the fur, scented with hoof. I was so excited. I ran up to my room and gave him a big hug. He was so soft and warm. Oh my god, I might turn off the fucking static shit. I like can't I can't process what's happening on the broadcast because of it. He blinked his real action eyes and said you're my His real action eyes. But I sure wish Mrs. Snugglehug was here and she can be for just eighty nine ninety nine. And then and then it's the general error. What's he Is that when he burst into flames? <laughs> oh, careful. And then he exploded. Oh, look, I've asked you nicely. And am I right in saying that one of his real action eyes is now permanently embedded in your cheek? Yeah. When I took him in at night, it glows through bandages. I know it's under there, staring at me. Yeah, some of the other children have started calling him Timmy Three Eyes. <laughs> That's, That's a really, really good cut. <laughs> What's the last thing you remember before the darkness overtook you? I, That's great that they added that detail in like the news anchors reacting to the footage. That's great. That's quite you, enough of Timmy? you two Timmy? coming in here with your camera trying to make a buck out of our suffering. I won't have it. <laughs> Timmy, do you think you will ever be what we can call no, no, you've normal had your questions, again? And now look. Oh, you've made him cry with all three of his eyes. Do you have a nightmares? I'm just, I'm just processing the question she was asking. <laughs> Oh, 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 shit, shit. So there you have it, Megan. Just one of the many victims of an indescribable tragedy that has shaken our nation. Thank you, Robin. Harrowing stuff. My espresso here. How will she turn this crisis around? The consumer should look out for when they're spotting a dangerous toy. Well, Megan. Experts advise to always check for the new advanced mark, which guarantee a level of safety and quality. Yeah, can we just get a close-up on, on camera three here? So if we take a look at this national nightly news mug, you should see the mark just on the base of it there. In the wake of the scandal, the government were praised for their swift response in bringing in this set of stringent checks and new products. It certainly is good to know that someone's watching out for our families. When we come back, our very own Patrick Bannon will be live from the sports board finals. Stick around, so you won't want to miss it. We'll be back after these messages. One minute back. Oh, sorry, I'm bursting. <laughs> what is this music? Yo, this editing is actually sick. I've got it all. Four world championships, two cars, a bidet, and an enlarged... A bidet. Thanks. Evil. We're getting reports in that naked protesters might try and spoil the sports board final... Oh, night. shit! ...she bits about. Try and make sure you don't broadcast it. It's 6 p.m. for God's sake. No one wants to see fannies on the news. Bozeman out. ...pressure on the bladder. This can cause trouble starting to pee, and it can cause laundry-based trouble between you and your she-demon of an ex-wife. So what caused this big old prostate? I wonder if this will come through on the ad if I do this. Doctors, we don't know. But I can't believe you. I think you're going to change. And that's 
I don't think I can censor the. Well, it is censoring the, the audio. Well, that's what it says. Well, that's what I understand that, but I always say welcome back. I think we should just keep it as it is. Well, of course you do. I've got one hat line. What's that supposed to mean? I didn't write it, Jeremy. That's all right, fine. Jenny, there's something wrong with the auto view. Ten seconds. Oh, I just felt a drip again. Have they not fixed this? You want to see us fry? Good for the ratings. Five, <laughs> four, three. Coming up later, we'll be speaking to the Prime Ministers about their exciting new healthcare facilities, transition centres. Wasting away in the chair. Going now to our own Patrick Bannon, who's reporting live from the finals of the new game that's gripping the nation. Sports board. Patrick. That's right, Megan. You join me live here for the final, the first annual sports board championship. It's been a hotly contested competition so far. I think it's fair to say these two have been dancing around each other all season. First up, we have Eddie Stryker. She's the more experienced of our two players today. Stryker has got an accuracy of 7, a danger rating of K, and a 12-month driving ban. Stryker's known for a signature move for the Lanky Hamster. And facing her tonight, hoping to prove himself with a career record of 12 outs, 14 finishes, and a divorce pending, is Mr. Wingspun himself, Tommy, the fingernail Harris. Just waiting on the ref now. The slapping ceremony is taking part. What is this? And uh, she goes first. Stryker, of course, uh, first to start as she won the trivia round earlier on by some margin. Uh, Harris, uh, perhaps the brawn and not the brain. Your shirt is, your shirt's kind of dirty. Um. Eddie Stryker. Nice start there from Stryker. She's determined not to let the nerve show. Uh, not after last time. On to Mr. Harris now, Tommy. Using his arm to pick up the ball. Not a bad shot there from, uh, from Harris. Back to Stryker for shots number three. All right. She's gone to sort of throwing it under her legs. Uh, not bad if you ask me. I think sports is, is, comes very naturally compared to the other stuff. Back to Harris now. A ball in the hand is worth two in the bush. Football. Move back. I'd say that's fair, but what do I know? Oh no, and Harris is not going to be happy with that. So really not a good start there for Tommy Harris in round one. We can only hope the round two trigger a bit better. Uh, but first, of course, after the argument with the ref section, it's time to change ends. Now we have the ceremonial changing of the ends. <laughs> changing of the ends. And of course, now they go back to the starting positions, as that makes sense. <laughs> what? <laughs> Striker giving it large. Second round, strong new play. Harris. Winter round two now with Harris. Okay, we seem to have some sort of streak on the pitch. Oh. I apologize if we broadcast any of that stuff. Um, she appears to have frozen across her breasts and arms. Um, uh, what is the comment doing? Sure uh, oh, shit. Her. We broadcast any of that, as I said. Um, oh, oh, oh break, no. This is so hard. Uh, they're trying to carry on play, but it's probably a bit difficult, and I'm struggling to follow. Um, because uh, it's quite nice. There we go. And, um, women's body. Yeah. All right. Great. Okay, so <laughs> this guy. Two now, uh, and how is absolutely determined to close that massive gap. <laughs> Betty Stryker. No, it's just some of the tightest play I've seen ever. Oh. Harris. Harris. And was that the fitted thumb screw? We haven't seen that since the heat. What a brilliant move. These shots are great between the two. Back to Stryker. And we know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. That is, of course, the ground sound. <laughs> what? The ground sound. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excellent bit of play here on both sides of the bucket. <laughs> I don't know about you at home, but I'm finding the technical mastery in this play here absolutely blooming, jaw dropping. The ref has spotted something in uh, Harris's neck or head. <laughs> And Harris is having an absolute shocker. What a miserable start there for Tommy Harris. I have no idea what's happening. And after all, it is a game of two halves. Uh, four rounds and seven sub -jobs. But now, of course, it's time for the half-time show. Quant above Livington Spit. On my whistle, on my whistle. Nice piece of music here to start the half-time show. Okay, another posh poker to lose on the court here. We're going to oh, oh. um, we'll do our best to shield you from having to look directly at it. Um, 
is uh, running around here with his genitals uh, on display for all to see. Um, and uh, ruining what was shaping up to be quite the dance interlude there. Um, now he's thrusting himself in. Uh, I in love that, space they're, space. that they're previously uh, the rich is protesters, so just says, give us our cash back. He cannot stand it when the bucket gets knocked over. Um, hopefully he'll get taken out now. Oh, 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 if you ask me, not Sunday morning television. Um, and uh, out of there, uh, hopefully uh, taken away, never to be seen again. <laughs> oh boy, cannot be in the final pose. And a lovely finish there on both sides of the bucket. I wouldn't like to call that one. <laughs> uh, and as we head into round three, I'd love to so see happy. these two players' heads. Uh, but unfortunately, because of science, we can't. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Not bad. Well, that ball boy's giving me the eye all the day. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, striker there, not a great start. Um, she looks a bit flustered, I think, after all that swinging around. Back to Harris here. God, what I wouldn't give to be that ball, am I right, ladies? What I wouldn't give to be that ball, am I right, ladies? Tommy Harris. Tommy Harris. And it dribbles down his arm, which is actually a really good move, because, of course, if it dribbles down his arm and goes on the floor, it's not going in the bucket. Oh, so the whole point is to not get it in the bucket. And Strike has gone for the animal bonus there, but of course, perhaps... And yes, Harris has counted with a tiny bell. That is wonderful play. Of course, we've seen that before. Look at her face. She is absolutely gutted. What a mug. Um, that could have been the clincher. What a massive shame. Um, Harris receives possession now. Uh, Harris to serve now. Um, Harris, of course, undefeated by Kestrel in his last four battles. So, um, here we go. Tommy Harris. Tommy Harris. That's all right. That's all right. Not bad there. He threw it quite far away from him, which is quite a good Very idea. Contact. Very clever there. Perhaps a little contact for caution from the referee, who's being, if you ask me, a little bit harsh. Ellie Stryker. Ellie Stryker. And she's let the nerves get to her. What the hell was that? You hate to see it, don't you? You cannot believe it. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, like. I mean, this is a mess now. I don't, I don't know what I can be doing oh. about this. Um, uh, I mean, there's sort of uh, uh, breasts and genitals for all to see. Um, I mean, there's only so much you can do. Um, oh. they, they're oh. sort of everywhere. Oh. Right. Uh, oh. Oh. Right, I'll, I'll try and carry on. There we go. Uh, players are trying to carry on, but of course it's difficult because um, because these protesters are uh, hoping so we can get them taken okay. off soon so we can carry there on. There we go. Oh. 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 What's going on here? Oh. Bloody wasters, absolute wasters. <laughs> wasters. It's punishing me for hanging on a shot too long when I can't I can't go use the other shots. It's an absolute bloody There we go, back to normal okay, C. Now we're gonna go into the final round. Uh, and of course as it's a Tuesday, the final round is a mime round. Who could believe it? Uh, nice imaginary shot there from uh, Harris. It really could go in there at this point. Um, really high level play here. From two I love. It's a small detail. I love that her shirt is dirty. I just don't know why. Uh, the bucket getting moved back to its proper place. About time, if you ask me. She's uh, juggling it around from her hands. Uh, interesting. Juggling it around from her hands. And she's uh, put it in her mouth like as if it was an egg. And now she's um. And she spat it out. She did the egg spit. So uh, a wonderful move there. Quite late on. Spit. Uh, from striker. But she's in it to win it. On it. No, it was dirty the moment she appeared. Uh, Tommy Harris here. Having it's a not because she was laying down. And he's peeling it as if it were a banana, which is an interesting move. Um, I'm not sure if he hasn't had his potassium or what's going on today with Harris. And he's trying to have a banana with the ball. What a fantastic move there from Harris. Unfortunately, that's what? the end. What, what? pathetic. There we go, Joe. That is over. How can he look his eight-year-old son in the face tonight? What a lump. <laughs> what a oh, lump. Referee now to announce it to make sure it is all official. <laughs> <laughs> what a lump. <laughs> And the winner of the first annual Sports Board Championship is everyone! Once again, a win for.
Oh my god, holding the sensor really drives the viewers down. That almost killed me. Uh oh, whoa, whoa. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, what's happening? Do I need this? There we go. They didn't even tell me about that. Patrick Bannon there had an extraordinary fight. Bleep it, bleep what? Sports board, Jeremy. I didn't know you were a fan. Oh, yeah, I can wrench a doubler with the best of them, I'll have you know. I certainly wouldn't bet against you. The fan fixed it, I think. I'll be talking live with Prime Minister's Julius Hall. Well done, mate. Nice bit of play there. Well done. Announcement you wouldn't want to miss. That's coming up after these messages. That's coming up. Good, good. Fucking microphone shot me. What? Fucking microphone, just me. Everything okay? Oh, the mics are just trying to kill us now, apparently. You'll be fine. You're unshockable. I'm immune to your cheap flattery. I'm wearing you down. Or losing your grip on reality. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. Now you. Postman again. Just heard from the chaps in maintenance that this storm is causing the odd power surge. Some of your controls might be a bit, uh, dangerous. Now, I know oh, so it wasn't you the fan. Oh, that meat looks good right ticker. now. I'm sure you'll make the right decisions. Who's been out? Sorry about the buckets. Oh. Oh. I hope this guy gets drunk again. Oh shit. That's not good. Right you are. You'll see. Ten seconds, everybody. No, mine's fine. You had a little accident. Five, four, three. Welcome back. I am delighted to Welcome be joined back. by Prime Minister's Julia Salisbury. Oh, so sometimes you can't cut to a certain camera. That's the challenge, I guess. Oh, shit. That's not good. We're delighted to be here. Firstly, I should ask how you feel about the graffiti that's been springing up across the capital. Should we be worried? No, no, you definitely shouldn't be worried. Well, not unless you've got a fatal paint allergy. But yes, it does seem there are still some people we haven't been able to help. You know, whinges. Got it. Fucking nailed the sensor. Sir. Find out what they're angry about and how we can help. Find out what they're angry about. The door to my government is always the door to my government. Someone's tripping on me. <laughs> but we didn't come here to talk about the alternative me. arts projects. Which we no doubt will have funded. When we want to talk to the nation about something far more exciting. Yes, your office briefed us that you have. Oopsie. Let me ask you a question, Megan. Okay, it's not usually how it works, but. What scares you? I mean, really scares you. I mean, really scares you. It's death. It's talking about death. We're all afraid of our deaths. It's part of being human. Sorry, are you saying that advance have cured death? We hope we found a way to make it much less scary and much less painful and much less expensive. Look, 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 look which is me close up camera? Okay. Which is me close camera? When I was 13, me mam came and got me from school. He used to go to the hospital. And granddad, he'd collapse that morning, so we'd all to say our goodbyes. And I went in to see him, he were all frail and pale. I, I was scared because I'd only seen him the week before, and he'd been fit as fiddle. And he said to me, Peter, he said to me, it's the right time. I don't ever want to be a burden to the people I know. Was that the last time you saw him? Nope. Three days later, he were back home. Nope. He lived with us for nine miserable years after that. He had to be fed with a rubber spoon. He had a commode. So he'd just take a shit right there in the lounge. Ah, I can't censor. Ah, I'm going to die. 
Oh god. I could see it was destroying me, man, when he slowly fade away. I mean, he would beg her to turn off his breathing equipment at night, but she could Or she wouldn't. It were a crime, you see. And she didn't want to lose the children, as well as her old man. No family should have to suffer like Peter's did. And now, no family will have to. The health service is today opening the first of 300 new transition centres. The transition centres will handle everything for your last days. The legal, financial, medical and emotional costs are all catered for and paid for by the government. So, even the poorest citizen gets to pass on with dignity when oh, they... Oh, too much. Too and that choice is important. This is a service only for people who choose it. For people who feel they run their course and don't want to burden themselves or their families with a slow, long, humiliating decline. Oh, no! Are you okay? Fried my asshole shut. What a fucking thing to say. System might be open to abuse. In what way? Oh God, I'm gonna Your die. I need, I need to might feel somewhat be more on the ball. Sorry, the the older generation might feel somewhat. Look at this shot. Coerced into spending their final days eating gourmet food and drinking fine wine and luxury spas and gardens. Look, I am perfectly capable of with a <laughs> What? How what did I fuck up? I guess I wasn't supposed to show that. You showed too much footage that was not for broadcast. Oh, no, it's not. It's not the sensor. No, it's, it literally says you showed footage that you weren't supposed to. So I think I wasn't supposed to cut to him, his mic being changed. I think I was supposed to cut away from that. Yeah. Oh man, I have to do this all over again. Oh no, wait, this is from the second ad. Okay, never mind. Thank thankfully. I wish I could just show the bucket. You wish you could watch the filled broadcast? No. Honestly, the failed broadcast and what I usually do are not that different. It's just that I need to like ride the line a bit more. I was fucking up a few of the sensors really early on. Right you are, pet. You'll see them. Ten seconds, everybody. No, mine's fine. Have you had a little accident? She's a cow. Five, four, three, two. Welcome back. I am delighted to be joined by Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement. Welcome to the National League New Prime Ministers. Oh, please, it's just Julia and Peter. We don't believe much in titles. It doesn't seem very advanced. We're delighted to be here. Well, I need to be. I need to be good. I need to not drive the audience away right now. Should we be worried? No, oh, no, no, you definitely shouldn't be worried. Well, not unless you've got a fatal paint allergy anyway. But yes, it does seem that there are still some people we haven't been able to help. Mm. You know, whinges. People who get benefit from the many It's fucking Calypso. And you know, Megan, as my old mum used to say, there are some pissants who just don't know how to be. Got it. Hell yeah. Working hard to reach these people, find out what they're angry about and how we can help. The door to my government is always open. So much dripping on me. 
But we didn't come here to talk about what may yet turn out to be some alternative arts project. Which we no doubt will have funded. When we want to talk to the nation about something far more exciting. Mm. Yes, your office briefed us that you have an announcement to make that they were being surprisingly secretive about. Mm. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Megan. Oh, okay, it's not usually how it works, but... Uh... What scares you? I mean, really scares you? Ah, uh, oh. It's um... death. Oh, God. He's talking about death. We're all afraid of our deaths. It's part of being human. Sorry, are you saying that advance have cured death? <laughs> That'll be a vote winner. Yep, that's definitely a job there. <laughs> while we may not have cured death, we hope we found a way to make it much less scary. And much less painful and much less expensive. Look, which is me close up the camera? Oh, sorry, yes, it's kind of cool like that. When I was 13, me mam came and got me from school. He had to go to the hospital. I have to try and get into the green before he starts swearing so I could mess with that. Say our goodbyes. And I went in to see him. He were all frail and pale. And I, I was scared because I'd only seen him the week before and he'd been fit as fiddle. And he said to me, Peter, he said, it's the right time. I don't ever want to be a burden to the people I love. Was that the last time you saw him? Nope. Three days later, he were back home. He lived with us for nine miserable years after that. He had to be fed with a rubber spoon. He had a commode. So he'd just take a shit right there in the oh, but He wouldn't even wait till half time. That sounds... Oh, um, it, it was awful. It was awful for us. But, and this is the point. It was awful for him. He could see it was destroying me, man, watching him slowly fade away. And he would beg her to turn off his breathing equipment at night, but she couldn't, or she wouldn't. It were a crime, you see. And she didn't want to lose the children. That was a good cut. Well as her old man. No family should have to suffer like Oh, I got a green, I got a green bar. And now, no family will have to. The health service is today opening the first of 300 new transition centers. The transition centers will handle everything for your last days. The legal, financial, medical, and emotional costs are all catered for and paid for by the government. So even the poorest citizen gets to pass on with dignity when they choose. And that choice is important. This is a service only for people who choose it. For people who feel they run their course and don't want to burden themselves or their families. Maybe I should turn the fan off then if that's not what's helping me. Maybe I'll have more energy. Oh, it's off. Are you okay? I don't know. I'm thinking from my asshole. Are we still on the air, Peter? Sorry, sorry. My apologies. Are you not worried that this new system might be open to abuse? In what way? Oh my god, you really punished for fucking up the censors hardcore. Might feel somewhat Oops, I fucked that one up. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> Coerced into spending their final days eating gourmet food and drinking fine wine and luxury spas and gardens. Look, I am perfectly capable of. With a rusty twat! Prime Minister, please watch your language. Get yourself sorted out. Right. We're launching a government information. Fucking fuck it! <laughs> you really do need to know. Oh shit. We've yet to be in office in here. Oh Megan. We're only getting started. <laughs> I'm on that note. Thank you so much for being here. Jeremy. Right, yes, um, that's all we have time for tonight. Uh thank you for our guests. Um congratulations to all the winners at the Sports Board Final. And we'll see you tomorrow night at the same time. My name is Jeremy Dawson. You can have a piece of mine. And we're out. Good job, everybody. Oh, shit. I don't suppose there's any way this could be a, a good point. It's my nephew, so <gasps> transitioned and I'm the most popular link.
This game is stressful. Let me tell you. I don't think I've ever had a good grade. That was hard. The last one was really hard. Thankfully, they didn't make us do the fucking frequency shit. I have shares in uh, Crazy Nick or whatever. Uh, fist is up, advances down. Cheese, broken hearted. All right, I wanna watch this. We join Jeremy and the team. There's just time for a brief look at what's coming up later tonight on Channel One. At 6:30, it's a brief. I'll probably watch. I'll watch sport, this, and then Bannon will be taking a look at the We'll see if we'll see if we'll have time to do another one. I think I'll probably start wrapping up around 11. So That's followed by a repeat of the live national sport. Oh yeah, final subtitles. I want to turn off subtitles. That's true. And Let me do that. I'm Megan Wall. And I'm Jeremy. Good Wall. evening. Our main headlines tonight. There we go. Daddy, it's starting! We join Jeremy and the team. How There's many broadcasts are in the game? I don't know. What's coming up later tonight? We've done three. It feels like we've done like ten. We've done three so far. But they're relative they're pretty long. They're all like will be taking a look at the surprising I don't know if they're all like actual like popular new sport. Like broadcast time. Like have they been like 23, 30 minutes? It must have. We've been playing for three hours. Nine PM and nine forty five PM. <laughs> at 10.30, it's a world premiere of Channel One's television adaptation of smash hit school's musical, Hey, Friendship, a touching and relevant tale of a 13-year-old girl from a modern family trying to adapt to the horrors of life in the old school system. It's another chance to view the sports board final at 11.45 before the weather and close down at It's about a 10-hour game. Oh. But first, I'm definitely not playing through it all in one stream. With Jeremy Donaldson we'll see after we finish the, watching this one. If we want to, oops, <laughs> off to a great start. Oh, does it not? Has appeared oh, overnight oh. on thousands of buildings throughout the capital. Tonight, in an exclusive live interview with Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement, I'll be asking what this mysterious symbol might mean. After three months of record-breaking <laughs> approval ratings, could this be the daring first move of a silent resistance movement? And what would that mean as we go into the future? We shall overcome. Trapped in Dante's taint for more than a month now, doctors Ingrid Svorsborg and Horgensbord and David Wong announced today that they're considering two possible options. With two of the finest minds in science working together, hopes are still high for the eventual return of the team to dry land. While both options are still on the table, support Dante's taint. Dante's, Dante's taint is probably the best thing this game has come up with, and this, this game has been good so far. The most advanced craft ever conceived by man. Then who can? Bearing their opinions, the formerly rich are fighting back with a naked protest. Our very own Robin Short was on hand earlier today when this new protest group first presented themselves. <laughs> Spokesman Wentworth Somerset Bentley said today, they've had the shirts off our backs, they might as well have the west of it too. And while it's easy to laugh, perhaps we should all just be pondering how desperate the formerly rich are to regain their power. Fallen angel, their notorious addict, Johnny Hammond. Have reached a new low in his battle with <laughs> Why am I? Business. Why did I not cut away? Johnny's star certainly lacks its former glow these days, with public concern over his mental and physical health growing at an alarming rate. Let's oh. hope that System the lock for broadcast. Rehabilitation Center can help Johnny get back to his former glory. Johnny's family have asked for privacy during this difficult time. We'll have reporters at the clinic around the clock so you don't miss a thing. Is this one celebrated role model about to become the bad boy of sports? And radical ideas. In an attempt to put the Mr. Snuggle Hugs disaster behind them, Remington's Fist CEO, Sophia Remington, today announced a surprising new project that already has the markets raising an eyebrow. Known for taking risks and bold strategies, could the adventurous CEO be leading the business giant? Cut, cut, why did I cut away? A new level of success? 
We understand the Mobile Orientation Operational Borrowing Service will be a new international travel system based around the construction of a major tunnel through the center of the earth. What I want to know is why the dude in the right, bottom right there looks so stressed. The world to the other, the matter of an afternoon. Geologists are concerned about the implications of digging a hole through the planet, while flat earthers claim it should be quite easy. With that exclusive prime ministerial interview coming up later. And our very Patrick Fan. <laughs> you won't want to miss a second. It's National Nightly News. I wish every newscast was like this. Seriously, I feel for drip. Ten seconds, everybody! <laughs> Going in five. First tonight, after the Christmas horror caused by Mr. Snugglehugs, we have an exclusive interview with one of the victims. Poor seven-year-old Timmy Tadlock, like so many of those affected by the Christmas bloodbath, has spent the last three months undergoing Cut a away. series of reconstructive facial surgeries. Last week, joyfully, he spoke for the first time since the tragedy. Tonight, I'm just, I'm just showing people who aren't talking. Before we go to the interview, however, this station would like to issue a full and frank apology for any part we may have. And Martin, where's, where's the? We should never have advertised Mr. Snugglehugs. Without our publicity, the sheer scale of this tragedy, and now upwards of eight thousand, might have been averted. On behalf of the nightly news team, get this way. Hang on. We will do. Oh, yeah, there's a Helen Now it's over to Robin Short at the Tadlock family home. Robin? Thank you, Megan. I'm here with Mr. and Mrs. Tadlock and their seven-year-old son, I Timothy. TV. Me too. I love TV. Yes, well, you're bloody lucky we're spending any time with you at all after what you lot did. Irresponsible. I mean, whose idea was this anyway? It's, it's all right. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> As you can see, Megan, there's still a few open wounds here. I'll tread carefully. I'm going to speak to Timmy now. Hello, Timmy. Can you see me? Mummy? It's a lady from television, Timothy. She's going to ask you a few questions. Are you Tadlock, I wasn't <laughs> the youngest ever editor of the Swinstead Middle School Inquirer for no reason. So, Timmy, can you tell us what happened to you? You had just unwrapped Mr. Snugglehugs, hadn't you? Was he under the tree? Yes. I could smell him already. He smelled... Ah, yes, that'll be the fur. It's scented with hoof. I was so excited. I ran up to my room and gave him a big hug. He was so soft and warm, like our cat, before he got in the way of Daddy's Porsche. Lolly cat had a death wish. And what did Mr. Snugglehug say to you? He blinked his real action eyes and said, You're the real action best eyes. friend. But I sure wish Mrs. Snugglehugs was here, and she can't be for just $89.99. And then, and then it's the general error. What? And is that when he burst into flames? Look careful. And then he exploded. Oh, look, I've asked you nicely. And am I right in saying that one of his real action eyes is now permanently embedded? When I took him in at night, it glows through bandages. I know it's under there, staring at me. Yeah, some of the other children have started calling him t and then with his glasses, that's fine. <laughs> oh, I thought I kept the laughing. And what's the last thing you remember before the darkness overtook you? He looked at me with his one eye and laughed. Laughed as he burst. <laughs> Very traumatic. <laughs> that's shy. Oh, you have nightmares. All right, that's quite <laughs> enough of you two coming in here with your camera to make a buck out of our stuff. <laughs> Tadlock, just a couple more questions. Timmy, do you think you will ever be what we can call no, no, you've normal had your questions, again? And now look. Oh, you've made him cry with all three of his eyes. Calm down, you're scared. I will... Timmy, <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, Robin Harrowing Stubbs. Coming days and months, I'd wager. How will she turn this car? What are the warning signs a consumer should look out for when they're spotting a dangerous toy? Well, Megan, experts advise to always check for the new advanced mark, which guarantee a level of safety and quality. Yeah, can we just get a close up on, on camera three here? So if we take a look. You missed what? I don't even know what happened. I don't know what he was reacting to. I missed it too. Just on the base of it there. In the wake of the scandal, the government were praised for their swift response in bringing in this set of stringent checks and new products. It certainly is good to know that someone's watching out for our families. When we come back, our very own Patrick Bannon will be live from the Sports Board Finals. Stick around. You won't want to miss it. Oh, I forgot about we'll that. Back. I forgot After about Sports messages. Board. One minute back. Oh, sorry. I'm first. <laughs> Do you suffer from benign prostate enlargement? So, oh, this, so this is the guy from. Uh, Come on, I'm Tommy the Finger. This is the guy from um, Sports legend. Board. I've got it all: four world championships, two cars, a bidet, and an enlarged prostate gland. Your prostate is a small gland about the size. Oh my God! The lapel mic. Located between your penis and your wee bag. If the prostate becomes enlarged, the wee bag. it can put pressure on the bladder. This can cause trouble starting to pee, and it can cause laundry-based trouble between you and your she-demon. Wee the next bag. One. So what caused this big old prostate in your bum? Well, sorry, me and the doctors, we don't know. What? <laughs> Me and the doctors, we older, don't know. Your body changes. And that's okay. Sorry, we if don't you're know. worried about your swollen bum sack, book an appointment, for God's sake. Mm. Procedure is easy, it's quick, and it's not gay. I'm Tommy we do be checking our, our prostate. Rectors. That is important. Check them. Check them. Oh, well, that was an awkward cut. Oh. <laughs> Coming up later, we'll be speaking to the Prime Ministers about their exciting new healthcare facilities, transition centres. Here's uh, Patrick uh, wasting away in the chair. But you know, while I'm... Going now to our own Patrick Bannon, who's reporting live from the finals of the new game that's gripping the nation. I barely survived this multi. Board. Yeah, I, I mean, I failed that's twice. Right, Megan, you join me live here from the final of the first annual Sports Board Championship. It's been a hotly contested competition so far. I think it's fair to say these two have been dancing around each other all season. First up, we have Eddie Stryker. She's the more experienced of our two players. I, I think I cut this one pretty well. Of K and a 12-month driving ban. Stryker's known for her signature move, the lanky hamster. And facing her tonight, hoping to prove himself with a career record of 12 outs, 14 finishes, and a divorce pending. It's Mr. Wingspan himself, Tommy. The finger Oops, now except Harris. I cut to the wrong person there. Just there you go. The ref now, the slapping ceremony is taking part. <laughs> Still going on. <laughs> See, your shirt's like super dirty from the get go. I love that. I don't know why that's like that. Harris, perhaps the such a good detail. Why is it so dirty? Eddie Striker. Nice start there from Striker. She's determined not to let the nerve show. Uh, not after last time. Not <laughs> after last time. On to Mr. Harris now, Tommy. Using his arm to pick up the ball. Not a bad shot there from uh, from Harris. Back to Stryker. As her bra, no, I don't think right. it's her shirt's dirty as fuck. She's gone to sort of throwing it under her legs. Uh, not bad, if you ask me. Is that contact? Go away, companion. To Harris. Bit of business with the ref, but it got sorted out. I don't know if you look at that and you think, yo, Back that's her bra. <laughs> I don't anyway. know what to tell you, my friend. Football, move back. I'd right, say so that's back. fair, but what do I know? Oh no, and Harris is not going to be happy with that. So really not a good start there for Tommy Harris in round one. We can only hope that round two trigger <laughs> uh, But first, of course, after the argument with the ref section, it's time to change ends. 
Now we have the ceremonial changing of the ends. And of course now they go back to the starting positions as that makes sense. Striker giving it large. Second round, Ndublé. Giving it large. Wins round two now with Harris. Okay, we seem to have some sort of streak on the pitch. Oh, but, all right, I just got right to it. She appears to have slogans across her breast and arms. Oh, fuck. Try and ignore all of that security. I'm sure we're going to take I think that's, I think, oh, never mind. I fucked that up. Okay, we're good there. We're going to get the situation resolved as soon as possible. They're trying to carry on. I think it's around here that I got the hang of it. Because uh, it's quite an eyesore, and um, women's body, yeah. All right, great. Okay, so back there to you go. two now, uh, and how is absolutely determined to close that massive gap. Killed it. Fucking killed it. Eddie Stryker. You know, it's just some of the tightest play I've seen ever. Women's body, Harris. yeah. And was that the fitted thumb screw? We haven't seen that since the heat. What a great reaction move. shot. The actors are so good. Back to Stryker. And we know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. That is, of course, the ground sound. <laughs> Excellent bit of play here on both sides of the bucket. I don't know about you at home, but I'm finding the technical mastery in display here absolutely blooming, jaw dropping. The ref has spotted something in uh, Harris's neck or head. And Harris is having an absolute shocker. What a miserable start there ah, for Tommy sport. Harris. Uh, but he is a late I don't even know what happened there. What happened? And after all, it is a game of two halves. Uh, four rounds and seven sub -comments. But now, of course, it's time for the half time show. Sponsored by Remington Fist. I love Remington's Fist. Nice piece of music here to start the half time show. Okay, another posh protest to lose on the court here. We can only apologize for that. Um, we'll do our best to shield you from having to look directly at it. Um, is uh, running around here with his genitals uh, on display for all to see. Um, and uh, ruining what was shaping up to be quite the dance interlude there. Um, oh. Now he's thrusting himself in. Uh, Give us in our cash back. I forgot uh, about the, the implications of this. Back. Oh. I cannot stand it when the bucket gets knocked over. Um, hopefully he'll get taken out now. Um, uh, Oh, I really the, um, was not cutting away really well there. Me, not Sunday morning television. Um, and uh, out of there, uh, hopefully there you go. Uh, taken away, never to be seen again. He's so happy. Final post, final <laughs> boy cannot be in the final post. And a lovely finish there on both sides of the bucket. I wouldn't like to call that one. Uh, and as we head into round three, I'd love to know what's going on in these two players' heads. Uh, but unfortunately, because yeah, of science, we can't. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't hear that line live, but that's fantastic. <laughs> that's a great line. <laughs> that ball boy's giving me the eye all the day. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, striker there, not a great start. Um, she looks a bit flustered, I think, after all that swinging around. Back to Harris here. God, what I wouldn't give to be that ball. I'm all right, ladies. <laughs> that comment. Tommy did. Harris. <laughs> and it dribbled down his arm, which is actually a really good move, because of course if it dribbles down his arm and goes on the floor, it's not going in the bucket. <laughs> Back to striker. Yeah, the actors are fantastic. The actors killed it here. <laughs> Everyone killed it here. There, but of course, perhaps. And yes, Harris has counted with a tiny bell. That is wonderful play. <laughs> of course, we've seen that before. Look at her face. She is absolutely gutted. What a mud. Um, that could have been the clincher. What a massive shame. Um, Harris receives possession now. Uh, Harris to serve now. Um, Harris, of course, undefeated by Kestrel in his last four bouts. So, um, here we go. Come on, Tommy. Tommy Harris. I just noticed Diet That's Stank the in the background. Not bad there. He threw it quite far away from him, which is quite a good Great idea. No Very contact. clever there. Oh. Perhaps a little contact for caution from the referee, who's being, if you ask me, a little bit harsh. And striker. <laughs> and she's let the nerves get to her. What the hell was that? You I didn't even get, I didn't even get the bucket there. That was a bad cut. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, like, I, mean, oh. I, I, <laughs> I remember here I was struggling this. a little bit. Uh, I mean, a sort of uh, uh, breast and genitals full to see. Um, I mean, there's only so much you can do. Um, they are trying to not get it in the well, bucket. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll try and carry on. Um, the players are... Trying to carry on, but of course it's difficult because um because these protesters are uh, hoping we can get them taken off soon so we can carry on with the match. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>
<laughs> we want our money back. Bloody wasters, absolute wasters. Jog on! This is the mine round. It's an absolute bloody. Okay, and now we're going to go into the final round. Um, and of course, as it's a Tuesday, the final round. Is <laughs> Jog a off! Round. Who could believe it? <laughs> what a lump! Uh, nice match. I need to start incorporating this shit into my uh, everyday uh, language. Oh, jog off! Juggernauts of the sport. <laughs> Hold. Uh, the bucket getting moved back to its proper place. About time, if you ask me. She's uh, juggling it around from her hands. So interesting. And she's uh, put it in her mouth like as if it was an egg. And now she's um, and she's spat it out. She did the egg spit. So uh, a wonderful move there, quite late on. Illegal spit. Uh, Illegal from spit. striker. But she's in it Harris. to win it. Harris's ball. On it like a car bonnet. <laughs> what a uh, terrible fucking. A bit of beef. <laughs> on it like a car bonnet. And he's peeling it as if it were a banana, which is an interesting move. Um, not sure if he hasn't had his potassium or what's going on today with Harris. And he's trying to have a banana with the ball. What a fantastic move there from Harris. Unfortunately, that is the end. What a pathetic. There we go, Jeremy. That is over. How can he look his eight year old son in the face tonight? What a lump. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we what a lump! To make sure it is all official. Mm -hmm. Contestants in I'm place. obsessed with calling someone a lump. That's honestly. And the winner. So fucking good. The first annual. I can't Lord tell if that's. I, someone said it in chat. Is. <laughs> once again a win for everyone uh, including me as my 15th win in sports ball championship um, but someone said it in the chat they were like i can't tell if they're like if they're like making up words or if it's actual british slang which i think is why british slang is amazing you love what more is there to say i'm patrick bannon um looking forward to celebrating tonight um and all i was left to say jeremy is back to you in the studio Patrick Bannon there had an extraordinary final. Historic sports board, Jeremy. I didn't know you were a fan. Oh, yeah, I can wrench a doubler with the best of them, I'll have you know. I certainly wouldn't bet against you. <laughs> when we come back, <laughs> I'll be talking live with Prime Minister Julius Caesar. Well done, mate. Nice to there. Well done. Big announcement you wouldn't want to miss. That's coming up after these messages. Good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> microphone shot me. What? <laughs> Fucking microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Are you worried about being a burden on your children? Are you scared of a long fucking mic shock me? Oz, the the two news anchors are fantastic. As it slowly wastes everyone, everyone's great in this game, reality. honestly. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. I'm having a blast. Now you can take back. It's been three and a half hours. Fuck. That went Earth's by so fast. New transition centers. Department of Life. You stay for a week. Enjoy gourmet food from our world-class kitchens, or collect your oh, looks so in good. Our beautiful gardens. And when it's time, at the end of your stay, you'll pass on painlessly, surrounded by those you love, in comfort and luxury. Isn't that what we all deserve at the end of a life well lived? Yeah, the the story uh, bit outside of the gameplay is is the only part I'm not crazy about it. That's just like it's it's whatever. It's like it seems pretty bit like run of the mill, like basic, like text choice narrative shit. Efficiently and compassionately, all absolutely ethical use in it. Uh, Quebec has this. This exists your where I live. So your tea. that's legal here. Welcome back. I am delighted to be joined by Prime Ministers Julia Salisbury and Peter Clement. 
Welcome to the National Nightly News, Prime Ministers. Oh, please, it's just Julia and Peter. We don't believe much in titles. It doesn't seem very advanced. <laughs> We're delighted advanced. to be here. Well, firstly, I should ask how you feel about the graffiti that's been springing up across the capital. Should we be worried? Oh, no. No, you definitely shouldn't be worried. Well, not unless you've got a fatal paint allergy anyway. There is a mode yes, that's just editing, but... Seem that there are still some people we haven't been able to help. I've already... You know, I've already played the story this long. People who've yet to benefit from the many advantages of the new future. And you know, Megan, as my old Obsessed mom used to Thank say, you. there are some who just don't know how to be happy. We're working hard to reach these people, find out what they're angry about and how we can help. The door to my government is always <laughs> Looking up. So much dripping on me. But this is the part where I died twice. What may yet turn out to be some alternative arts project. Which we no doubt will have funded. When we want to talk to the nation about something far more mm. exciting. Yes, your office brief. Well, that's true. There are two different buckets tonight. showing in the wide Can shot. Secretive about it? <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Megan. Oh, okay. It's not usually how it works. But <laughs> what scares you? I mean, really scares you? Ah, uh, oh. It's um, death, pet. She's talking about death. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think I censored death. shit here as a joke because of how Sorry, desperate it was. It was really difficult. Cured death. <laughs> that would be a vote winner. Yep, that was definitely a drop there. But while we may not have cured death, we <laughs> that was definitely a drop a there. Much yes. Less scary and much less painful and much less expensive. Look, which is me close-up camera? Oh, there. sorry. Yes, it's it's camera four right there. When I was thirteen, me mam came and got me from school, he had to go to the hospital. My granddad, he'd collapsed that morning, so we'd all to say our goodbyes. And I went in to see him, he were all frail and pale. And I, I was scared because I'd only seen him the week before and he'd been fit as fiddle. And he said to me, Petey, he said, it's the right time. I don't ever want to be a burden to the people I love. Was that the last time you saw him? Nope. Three days later, he were back home. He lived with us for <laughs> nine miserable years after that. He had to be fed with a rubber spoon. He had a commode. So he'd just take a shit there in the lounge while we were watching <laughs> football. He wouldn't even wait till half time. Oh, there are a lot of British oh, FMV oh, games it, on Steam. Awful. A awful there's a, us, there's a ton of British FMV games awful. for some reason. It were awful for him. I could see it was destroying me, man, watching him slowly fade I'm curious away. to see what happens and when he gets shocked, because to turn I was struggling with that. breathing equipment at night, but she couldn't, or she wouldn't. It were a crime, you see. And she didn't want to lose the children, as well as her old man. No family should have to suffer like Peter's did. And now no family will have to. <laughs> I did. The I did start playing Immortality on Xbox. It's. I don't really like the gameplay of it. Maybe I didn't play it long enough, but it was. It was for your last day. Kind of monotonous, a little bit. Financial, medical, I love the idea though. Are all catered for and paid for by the government, so even the poorest citizen gets to pass on with. I can't stream it though because there's boobs. When they choose. And that choice is important. Yes. This is a service only for people who choose it. For people who feel they run their course and don't want to burden themselves or their families with a slow, long, humiliating decline into an un- Fuck! This microphone pack has just given me an electric shock! Are you okay? I, I, I don't know. I think it's all Are we still on the air, Peter? No, yes, uh, sorry, sorry, my apologies. Oh. Are you not worried that this new <laughs> Love that I'm staying on him here. Might be open to abuse? In what way? What <laughs> nuts! Sorry, sorry, I got zapped again. Can I get a little bit of help here, please? <laughs> that the older generation might feel somewhat. <laughs> that one was massive. <laughs> right, no, this bastard's coming off. That, uh, sorry, that the that the older generation oh. might feel somewhat coerced. <laughs> coerced into spending their final days eating gourmet food and drinking fine wine and luxury spas and gardens. Look, I am perfectly capable of... Oh, f my grandmother with a rusty tw so Please watch your language. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, oh
we're not sure the government information for them tonight. It should tell your viewers everything they need to know. You really do move at a breathless pace. It's hard to Oh, uh, I, I did pretty good there. Comedy. I did pretty good there. <laughs> we're only getting started. <laughs> oh, that was great. And on that note, thank you both so much for being here. Jeremy. Right, yes, um, that's all we have time for tonight. Uh, Jeremy's looking rough. Our thank yous go out to our guests. Um, congratulations to all the winners at the Sports Board Final. And we'll see you tomorrow night at the same time. My name is Jeremy Donaldson. If you can, have a peaceful night. And we're out. Good job, everybody. That was the good. iconic A2 stainless steel posi drive wood screw to the M1 2mm slotted countersunk screw. The joy of screws is your key to a world of sticky fixings. Start collecting today and celebrate the nation's most well known and best loved pieces of hardware with your copy of the joy of screws. Every week, your copy. you'll add another exclusive fastener to your collection, like the flathead self flanging bump screw, the 4mm hexaflex mushroom bolt, the self locking long life round head roofing tack, and that's only the beginning. The pan Phillips slotted head washer washing nut, the M25 3mm finishing pin, oh, the cast iron head oh. fixing screw, and many more. Every week, alongside your ironmongery, you'll get this in-depth companion magazine, charting the highs and lows of DIY history. From the Canterbury nut shortage to the socket screw riots of 29, this detailed guide will bring to life some of your favourite metalworking moments. Start your collection today, and we'll send you the first eight editions with no postage or packing. That's right, no postage, no packing. Plus, you'll also receive this, this, lo this looks like a legit ad. Bit absolutely free. So, what are you waiting for? Start this is the most ad-like of all the ads that they've had. The the joy of screws the only complete collection of real authentic genuine reproduction screw replicas the collection is for display purposes only the items are ornamental replicas and not for use with wood, metal masonry or any other physical surface terms and conditions apply see issue 42 details that was a good that was a good episode of the national nightly news all right so it's been it's been three and a half hours I could I could do one more. I could do one more. I'm sure the other the next one will be probably around 20 minutes to half an hour. Um What a wild ride this has been. The lockdown. The next broadcast is really good. Let's do it. Oh, this is supposed to be Oh, this is COVID. Is it? It looks like they're all in different places, so. And it's called The Lockdown. This is the pandemic extra recorded episode. Wait, this isn't the last one then, is it? Oh, they just, they put it in in the middle? The boys are back. Just look at it. That's all we've been putting out since you went down. You have to fix it now. Look left, Alex, out the window. See? They're all over it, little bastards. <laughs> what is that? Need a full charge to clear that many off. Hold down the big button until it's fully charged. Then release it to zap the little Oh my box. god. <laughs> Excellent, Alex. We're broadcasting again. They must have built up while you were napping. Oh, it's yeah, it's the Furby bears. It's the real action Turn eyes. Before it starts to mess up the signal again. Great. <laughs> that seems to be the last of them for now. Right. We're about a minute out. Get the adverts loaded up. I've got to deal with my pet idiot. And Alex, keep your I saw ears people open. someone was credited as three boys in a trench coat Don't and fat Tony. What is this going to be? To the national nightly news. But before that, let's take a look at what's coming up later on. This has no credibility, Jenny. On channel 1 at 7 o'clock. No professionalism. It's not a mess. Everything is where it should be. It's ramshackle and character. Oh yeah, the ads. I said, you don't know the difference. Internal use only. Employee oh, training video. Oh, I'm so tempted. But I can't see it, can I? Thanks, Jenny. How's locking with the boyfriend going? Decided to take his chances on the wild streets, eh? A compassionate statement from the eye of the beholder. Fuck yeah. 
Occupational hazards. Jeremy, Jenny says your hair looks stupid. Yes, I can hear her. And she says she's not talking to you. Let's yes, put the employee I know, training I video. Can hear her. Shall I count us in? Naked oh yeah, subtitles. There you go. Okay, ten seconds. Break a leg, everyone. Preferably a furry one. It's the national weather report. Five, four, three. It's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Oh my God. And I'm Megan Wolf. Our main stories tonight. Snuggle fox. It's been almost five weeks since all the Mrs. Snugglehugs joined. <laughs> he just Walk doesn't give a shit at it. <laughs> I began searching for their husbands. <laughs> the Mr. Snugglehugs we have so short-sightedly destroyed. And now, as this photograph suggests, they may be changing tactics. Built to surprisingly traditional gender stereotypes, the Mrs. Snugglehugs have been arming themselves with a variety of household implements. All the more reason to make sure that cat flap is taped up good and tight. This frightening new development means that even those previously <laughs> thought to be relatively safe, like the young and fit, must take care to watch their backs and keep their ears open for the soft steps of sinister feet. Going stir crazy with no signs of Mrs. Snugglehug's batteries running out and the government lockdown now in its 31st day, domestic relationships across the country are taking some unexpected turns. Viewers are liking it. Dramatic reports are beginning to emerge of uncharacteristically bold behavior. What? So what, what is the right one? The model planes that what is that China supposed to be? In in response to what is <laughs> what is that paper, which was of course raided by the mrs snuggle hugs to construct their vast oh, lives many of the nation's adults have turned to a more childish solution or at least that's their excuse locked and loaded shin calligraphy joining <laughs> hands leaves seems to be taking his own unique approach to being locked in since checking into rehab, not much has been heard from the former role model, but this latest photo leaked by another resident What today is the- the right ones are- why do they have this like purple well haze around them? It seems that paranoia may have overtaken the residents of the infamous rehab clinic. No which hugs is really here. Of an independent state, claiming it had more than enough sponges to last till next Christmas. The shape of things to come? In their own version of a lockdown for more than 45 years now, the descendants of doctors David Wong and Ingrid Sporsborg and Horgensford and their unfortunate team today managed to get a personal statement to the surface using flagellized imaging equipment. Many of the Sporsborg and Horgens brood, as they've come to be known, who are those people? The public imagination. What? With a recent vote naming Helvetica Sporsborg and Wongensford, the most likely to survive a massive electric shock. Greeting from Dante's Tate. Or as we say down here in the family, many mushrooms to you. I don't know what a Mrs. Pluckless Pug is, but they sound like they're causing you guys real problems. We've been trapped down here for 8,961 days now, and all I can say is I sure am glad Mum and Dad chose not to get on that skate craft. Since they grew me and the rest many of the family, mushrooms to you. been getting on famously, and sometimes Mum stops crying for upwards of 20 minutes. Also, it turns out, at push, you can eat floods. If Flards <laughs> and the amnesia. <laughs> Greetings from Dante's Taint. Greetings. Stay down here in the family. Many mushrooms to you. It's hard to believe they've been down there so long now. But as everyone knows, time moves differently underwater, Jeremy. That's why goldfish are so stupid. That's right. And as anyone will tell you, the deeper the ball, the thicker the goldfish. There's no denying the logic <laughs> of that. <laughs> Class war. A worrying turn today for the formerly rich as ever more punishing measures are announced, Alex. Oh my god, what is that right picture? <laughs> Those who manage to skip the country must be very grateful to the people who are helping them right now. This program has received reports of rich relatives on the run <laughs> being filled with helium and released into the stratosphere. If those rich bastards think they're above the rest of us, why not give them a hand in getting there, Jeremy? And Advance speaks out. With the snuggle struggle proving a test to governments around the world, Advance HQ released a curious statement this afternoon. In the accompanying release, they asked us to stress that they have been listening and that this should be taken as a response to how the people really feel. We've certainly done our bit on this show to contribute to the political climate. But let's not forget, how we behave in our home lives is what really matters. Let's hope it's not just me who feels really? that way in there, Jeremy, or we're all in trouble. <laughs> Let's play that statement. Let's play that Good evening. One of the many new jobs I have in this current crisis is to liaise on a daily basis with the Department of Perambulation, and they 
have made me aware of these. Now, these are genuine requests from citizens for permission to go outside. Now, I would like to share a few of these with you tonight under the loose heading of what the fuck is wrong with you oh, people? Oh, shit. How difficult is this to grasp? I'd like to start with James from Anger Hampton, who says he needs to go out because there's a duck in the park that I like to try and feed on a Friday. I call him Mr. Quackington, and I think we're really starting to bond. No, James, they make their hives in parks. And then Katie from Self Righteous on Sea wants to go out so she can deliver homemade meals to the elderly. No, Katie, stay at home, you casserole's dire, and surely can get by with tins of creamed rice from the 1950s. Creamed rice. And you, Lewis, from Hamble Bamblebury, those screams you heard in the alley last night behind your house are best left to the police. Now, I want to make this as clear Get off. as I can. Think first. Stop sending me stupid, sodding requests and stay inside. Pretend it's not happening until we tell you it's all over. Thank you. Ridiculous stuff. <laughs> Later tonight, Jeremy will be probing heartthrob reporter Patrick Babbage while I take a deep dive into some controversial opinions with two familiar faces. And then, in our third segment, and presumably because our editor is also working from home, there's going to be a bloody quiz. I can't wait. Don't do that. <laughs> and in a moment, Jeremy Grumpleson and I will be asking controversial... Gr is Grumpleson his name? I don't, I don't think he ever told his last and name. psychic scientist Dr. Dini Lywell will be joining us, presumably to provide a bit of false hope. Maybe she'll tell you how you're going to die, Jeremy. Too late. I'm certain it happened months ago. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Brilliant. What? She's not here. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was on a yacht. <laughs> First tonight, how do we get here? Where are we going? And most importantly, who's to blame? Joining us from her villa on the island of San Palmerino is CEO and socialite Sophia Remington. Thank you for having me, Megan. I am loving your hairdo, babe. And from her crystal healing laboratory in what I assume is a garage in Lower Uppington, doctor, it says here, Delia Lywell. Thank you for inviting us on your show. Us? Don't. Miss Rivington, your toys are rampaging across the developed world, your company is worth less than my annual salary, and your country's president recently called you a national disgrace. Have you taken your eye off the ball? Oh, honey, you're so cute when you're angry. The thing with you folks over there is you have an <laughs> island mentality. We can't see the bigger picture. So what is the bigger picture? The bigger picture is lithium batteries. Our toys have been running for upwards of 71 days now with no signs of them slowing down whatsoever. Imagine what that means for the future. It means we don't know when the hell this lockdown's going to end, doesn't it? You don't seriously believe Remington's fist can survive it. Remington. Lithium batteries are going to change everything, tiny ogre. They're going to power... Tiny ogre? <laughs> technology portable. Tiny and ogre. They might even take us into space. They might even take us into space. How can you make them with everyone at home? Oh, <laughs> don't you worry about that. Thanks to the work of thousands of tiny hands, they're already pouring off the production line. Times are good for Remington's fist. But surely you have no future. But uh, excuse me, hello, yes, yes, if we might. This is our area of expertise. What, multinational economics? <laughs> you, Mr. Donaldson. My cuts are great so are far. Connected. Yeah, okay, I'll bite. Why not? There's clearly nothing better to do. So, what does your scientific process tell you about the future of Sophia? Is his voice changing? His voice, this seems like it's changing like a bit slightly. Foreign soil, but not foreign land. An age will oh. pass. Fascinating. Wasn't it just? 
Delia, you are amazing. Oh, I can't tell who's talking. We have to fly okay. you out here to the island to do that for my guests. love you. Unfortunately, all flights are grounded because of your tiny, deadly stowaways. Not all flights, honey. D, call me. And you, Maggie. The more the merrier. Bring your swimwear. Miss Remington, you seem completely ignorant to the seriousness of the situation. Do you take any responsibility at all for the global crisis? Careful! It's a trap. It's not a trap. Why are you helping her? She seems fun. You bet your ass I'm fun. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, I fucked it up. Are lithium batteries the most incredible invention the world has ever seen? Probably yes. But in fact, who am I kidding? Is definitely yes. But the will they last forever? Get off. One day, all the Mrs. Snuggle Hugs will just stop. Did they take away the red bits? Yeah, it didn't. Maybe ass is not a swear. Because I really don't mind telling you this. It is really hitting our bottom line. Thank you, Dark dark Web Prosciutto. To be selling an ass load of them. <laughs> Dr. Lywell, do you have an indication of, of when or how this might end? Well, it's not an exact sign. Not even a real one. But our senses tell us that there will come a day when there will be clouds in the sky. The grass will be rich and verdant. And the birds will sing at dawn. And that shall be the day when we walk forth again. Everyone's so ag agreed. That could literally be any day. Well, let's hope it's soon. Clouds, grass, and birds. That's literally every day. Let's hope it's not too soon. I'm kind of hoping we can. The game is 53 gigabytes. Days. Yeah, I'm assuming it's because of the footage. Besides, if it lifts, it's pretty big. Well, let us ask the eminent professors for a hundred then. No, let's not, eh? I'll drink to that. Stay strong and party. I'll drink to that. Sophia Remington, Dr. Delia Lywell, thank you for joining us. When we come back, we'll be reaching out around the country to see what's really happening out there. Don't go away. We'll be back after these sandwiches. We'll be back after the Hindenburg sized fuck up. <laughs> She's fun at a social level. I wouldn't want to be on her board. Christ, no. She's going to drive that company into the fucking ground. <laughs> I couldn't tell if he was laughing or crying. More than ever. Hello, mate. It's Dave. Dave. I've decided to come home. Listen, I'll call you back at the next break and we can talk about how I get me job back. Cheers, Alex. See you, mate. And the isolation idealists. The lads are back. The healthcare heroes and the lockdown lovers. Yeah, well, it's been a long time coming. Oh, boy, we're back. Agent so. You want your pillow, though. We need to come together. Every single Alex time. Jones, I mean Alan James. <laughs> oh shit. Boom. I have the beholder. What a brave young man. Okay, coming back. Eventually, in five, three. Welcome. <laughs> Where's Jeremy? Me, a respected academic, Katie Brightman, me, a respected and author of Alan James Katie Brightman, Brightman, Alan and author of Alan James. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. Thanks Thank for having me, Megan. Thanks, Megan. It really is a pleasure, Katie. I enjoyed our little heated encounter. I wish I could say the same. So first off, Katie, how are you coping? I'm holding up okay. The lockdown directive was so... <laughs> Oh, no, what happened? <laughs> I was staying at a hotel after an international policy convention and we had a particularly uh, heavy night out. You know what economists are like. <laughs> Notoriously hate splitting the bill. <laughs> and I overslept. And as you can imagine, I've been here ever since. But there are certainly people much worse off than me. Exactly. My tour has been cancelled indefinitely and I've had to refund every single ticket, even the cheap seats. Oh, Alan, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. People are being quite rude about it. They don't seem to realise I've already spent it filling the beach houses. The crisis claims yet another victim. So, this is just a reminder that my book, Alan James's Reich, is now available in paperback. Unbelievable. What was that? You. You're unbelievable. 
So, Katie, how do you think this might His affect reaction. the economy? Should we be worried? <laughs> Very, Megan. Not to sound dramatic, but this could be catastrophic. Unemployment has skyrocketed, and frankly, it will be a miracle if a lot of businesses can survive this. There you go. Scaremongering again. Spreading this latest liberal hoax. That's what they want. They want us quiet. Shh. They want us compliant. <laughs> quiet. And they want us inside. A hoax? How on earth can you say that, Alan? Well, I haven't actually seen one of these supposed toys. Have you? Well, no, but... Did you know 3,000 people die every year from regular toys? That's a lot of people. <laughs> And this, is <laughs> this is very heavy-handed. <laughs> this is very heavy-handed. Mm, he makes an excellent and persuasive point, Katie. Don't listen to her, Katie. The press are the enemy of truth. She's agreeing with you, Alan, you absolute shit. Well, then I oh. must be wrong. Alan, are you now recanting your statement that these toys aren't dangerous? People are saying they're just like normal toys. And that simply isn't true. Corrupt media lies. And Katie, how do you respond to Alan's claims that Mrs. Snuggle Hugs might be dangerous after all? I suppose I, I guess I'm agreeing with him. Thank you, Katie. I appreciate your support. A lot of folks are saying this Mrs. Yes, right, exactly. We need decisive action from the government. We need huge financial support to protect our workers and our businesses. We need to support the vulnerable and... Exactly right, Katie. We brought it on ourselves with all our liberal indulgences like our cake and begin sacrificing our first oh my god or the push of a loved family pet. Absolutely, Alan. If we can all successfully come together as a community and perform the ritual, hopefully we will. Katie, could it be any worse? Luckily, over the past few years under advance, they've invested heavily into health, so the system can actually bear the strain. Is it lucky that the Llama Lords have unleashed a horde of man-made monsters on its... You just stop for five fucking seconds. The Global Alliance of Fish People are amassing an army... Me, 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 me. That's you. That's what you sound like. That's what you sound like. But I don't I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. You do, Alan. You do sound like that. And that's why no one wants to be your friend. Yeah, stop lying, Alan. Yes. Not lying. You are. Oh, good one. You are. Oh, good one. <laughs> well, I'm telling. <laughs> Alan James. Alan, you know what's <laughs> They're in the same house. <laughs> Territory's leading minds. Any moment now, I'll be heading over to Jeremy, who is going to be bringing us up to the minute report of the status of the nation. Over to you, Jeremy. Thank you for what I'm sure was a reason. My way works, and also you're going to invoice me. Next, out on the streets, someone who's always doing exactly that. It's Patrick Brennan. Um, Are you there, Patrick? Uh, hello, Jeremy. Yes, hello. I'm here. I'm here live. Um, apologies for the quality of the broadcast today. Um, couldn't find any cameramen or, or women uh, brave enough to come and join me, so uh, I'm out here on my own. What is that? Right, so what uh, is this shot? Is he in front, front of a like picture? It's not a green screen. As you can see behind me, the streets are currently completely deserted. Uh, but my question, Jeremy, is just how long? I mean, could there be danger lurking just around the corner, waiting to end the fledgling career of this young, promising journalist before his uh, full potential is even realised? Will he die underappreciated by management? And frankly, if you ask me, very, very much underpaid. I don't think there's any danger of that, Patrick. Um, what's that on your jacket there? Oh, that, that's actually a sponge. Uh, I've made it, what I've done here is made a snuggle-proof jacket, Jeremy. Uh, the network didn't bother sending me any PPE, uh, so I've been forced to improvise. Um, in fact, showing the sort of resourcefulness that would make me an ideal candidate for, I don't know, for example, an anchor position starting whenever they'd like. From your point of view, Patrick, um, just how safe are our streets? Uh, not, not, not safe at all, Jeremy, not safe at all. Uh, I'd recommend people staying inside, uh, following government advice, and not putting themselves at any risk at all. 
uh, and this, of course, uh, like me, it's for groundbreaking journalism reasons. Mm -hmm. And just where are you, Patrick? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the street, on the street. Which street? <laughs> Uh, I'm, um, uh, I think I'm, I'm struggling to hear you, actually, uh, Jeremy, there. Which street? Which street are you on? Oh, which, which street am I on? Oh, you can see the top, <laughs> the sign at the top. <laughs> um, I'm, oh, God. Um, I'm just looking for a uh, oh, there it is. I, I'm, I'm on ba uh, uh, Bannon Avenue. Bannon Avenue? Bannon yep. Avenue? Yep. Bannon Avenue. Yeah, no, I can hear you fine. Yep, I'm on Bannon Avenue on the sign. It says there. Like Patrick Bannon. Like. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's, that is like that's strange. That's a weird sign. I don't know what's going on there. Where are you really? I'm on Bannon. Um... All right, fine. I'm not on Bannon Avenue. I'm on. I'm at home, to be honest. I'm. All right, fine. Well, I mean, I'm in my bathroom technically, but you know, I I couldn't face it. Uh, you know, it's it's terrible out there. I don't want to go outside. They're everywhere. I'm sorry for lying. We don't expect any less of you, Patrick. We don't expect any less of you, Patrick. Can you hear that sound? I can, yes. Uh, I'm no expert, Patrick, but it sounds unmistakably like a, a tiny fish tapping on your door there. Oh, fuck, it does. Oh, fuck, Jeremy, shit, no! Oh, bollocks, Perhaps there's a small queue of tiny fists, each wielding a different gendered household implement. Ready to bash in the heads of lying little roving reporters. So you're lying, aren't you? Oh shit, fucking, okay, fucking, listen, listen to me, you bastards. If you're out there, just piss off there, and fucking snuggle, fuck. I'm too talented to die. What the? No. Okay, okay. Oh god, oh god. Don't worry, Patrick. Uh, I'd say you've got a few seconds before they break their way in there and finish you off. <laughs> what do you see, Patrick? What do you see, Patrick? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Patrick, for that report showing the nation, and more importantly, management, just where you belong. It's time for another break, but uh, when we come back, we'll be hoping to take your mind off the world for a little while, and who knows, maybe even bring you a few smiles. Join us after this. You're damn right. Yeah, I had them delivered. Yes, to Bannon Avenue. What does RIT stand for? RIT? Oh my god, what the sun? What the fuck is the sun? Oh god, what the fuck? And we'll send you this card from HR absolutely free. That's right, free. Occupational hazards. The only regular thing that is both completely avoidable and ever present. No? Oh, oh. Bye. Oh. This isn't easy, so finally tonight, we have easy, something so with different finally for you. tonight. We even though some people, but it's not our job to entertain the public with absolute nonsense. Other, more important people, those people. And who will national nightly win? And who will national nightly lose? Fuck off, Jenny. <laughs> so, how do we play? Well, joining me as a man who knows all about playing, it's Tommy I'm clicking Harris. them to make them go away. Hello, Tommy. All right, Johnny. It's good to see ya. 
And uh, how are you finding the lockdown, Tommy? Would you be locked down? The enforced isolation of everyone in the country. Ah, yeah, I think I heard about that. Actually. Yeah. You're in bed, Tommy. Yeah, you called during that time, so. Of course, that's my fault. So, um, why don't you tell us how the game is played? Well, it's pretty simple, Jeremy, you sausage. I'm going to ask you <laughs> from around the territory three questions. You sausage, you lump. Yours She's true. turned something off the plug, and Alex. Those people are going to get a chance. A very special oh. prize. Well, Tommy. Drum roll, please. Jeremy. Oh, shit. Thank you. Oh shit. She's turned off the trip switch, Alex. So Oh, well then, what a fantastic prize. Have we got anybody waiting to win this once in a lifetime prize, Jerry Jimmy? I believe we have Angie on the line. Um, how do you feel about winning this man's old pants, Angie? I've never been so excited, Jeremy. And can I just say, I love you. Both of you. <laughs> Well, you've said it now, haven't you? Oh, uh, Angie, I love you, in a way. Tell us about yourself, Angie. Well, what can I say? Uh, my name is Angie, <laughs> or it has been. Um, I'm a human woman, and my dental hy hygiene has been described as acceptable. Brilliant! <laughs> right, well, shall we get this shambles on the way? Absolutely, John. Can I get 30 seconds on the clock, please? We haven't got a clock. Yeah, I did ask for a clock. So, well, um, why don't you start, and I'll stop you when it inevitably becomes unbearable to watch. I love it. All right, here we go. Time starts n -n 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 now. Question <laughs> one. When is my birthday? The 13th of August at 7.19 a.m. That is absolutely correct. Question two. What? I said, what is my favourite Colour. Crushed praline four. Correct, the colour of my nipples. And finally, Angie <laughs> dear, what is my star sign? That's a trick question. You were born outside of the human understanding of the cosmos. What? Unbelievable. That is correct. Stop the clock. Wow, that really was tough to watch. How did you do, Johnny? Well, Angie, my love, you got every single question right which is not tidy <laughs> absolutely nothing <laughs> for playing angie why do we have another contestant on the line at jelly bean we do indeed we should have sonia hartleach are you there sonia <laughs> of course i am jamie darling <laughs> thank you for being here sonia oh there you are tommy <laughs> let me guess you work in theater don't you is it that obvious? <laughs> what gave it away? Was it the glamour or poise? <laughs> it certainly wasn't your inherent sense of humility. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about yourself, Sonia. Oh, well, if you must play this game. <laughs> I am a theatrical agent. I represent the likes of Rudy Beefman, Samuel Coffeecup and Jodie Carpetburn, amongst others. And how's the lockdown affected you, Sonia? Uh, well, they may have closed the theatres. Yeah, why is his name Jamie in the subtitles? Boarded the cinemas, but they won't get me that easily. How are you managing without any work? Due to a savvy clause in all of my artist contracts, I am able to claim my fifteen percent from their unemployment benefit. <laughs> wow, that certainly is sharp. Standard stuff. Standard stuff. And can I ask, where are you speaking to us from? Well, I work from home, you know, to keep costs down. And, uh, who's this? Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, when they gave the order, I was actually mid-meeting with a client, so... Oh, is this the guy from... Together. No this is the guy from the first one, right? Way. What the fucking <laughs> fuck? Is that Tony <laughs> Harris? I'm a huge fan. Can I just tell you how bloody brilliant you are? Actually, Jeff, we're about to play a game, aren't no, no, we, Tommy? No. We've got time, we've got time. Well, if it's not too bold, I think I am in love with you, Mr. Harris. No, no it's not too bold. That's all right. Oh. I, I'd love to show you some of my stuff. I've been working on some new shit. Well, at least you're already aware. Do you, 
<laughs> lockdown. Uh, we've been workshopping some of Jeff's ideas for much younger children, haven't we? People still let you know their children, do they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I've been developing yeah, yeah. Uh, some shows for younger children. Hmm. Well, we'd love to see it, wouldn't we, Gerbil? Absolutely dying to. <laughs> right, so, what do kids love? Uh, timely child support payments from their absent fathers. Shallow and overproduced musical numbers. That's right. Animals! So, I'm trying to address the things that kids need to know, but through a medium that they'll understand. Do you understand? I think, yes. I think so, yes. Jeff's one of my best clients, aren't you? I am. Yeah, yeah. So, the first one we've been working on is called The King of the Jungle's Mortgage Repayments. It's about a lion who's having problems with his interest rates. I see. Does he have a broker? Uh, he does. Yes, yes. He's a porcupine. Uh, how did you know that? Well, your work is universal, darling. Oh. It speaks oh. to people. <laughs> I'm going to say something to you, mate. I think you're onto something here. Oh, oh the bear, the bear. Oh, the yes, bear. yes, yes, yes. Right. <clears throat> this one is much better. So, this one tells the tale of Mr. Bear. Now, Mr. Bear is a very sad bear, because all of the other bears don't think that it'll amount to much, and they tell him that his plays are lazy and derivative. Well, I think you're under something there. Now, Mr. Bear is a tragic figure. Picture this. He's at his lowest ebb. The trees are closing in. He can't even face his salmon, can he? No. But then he meets someone... Every time I click them, they, like, ragdoll more. It's like not... Ever. Like, I could just keep this spamming click. Is Fucking gripping. That's right. He meets a wise old octopus who takes him under his wing and says, No, Mr. Bear, don't be sad. You're not like all the other bears. You have this ambition and these dreams. Such fucking dreams. I think I love you, Jeff. <laughs> and what you need, oh. Mr. Bear, says the octopus, probably doing an eight-armed gesture or something. <laughs> what you need to do to find happiness in this crazy old forest is you need to set yourself more realistic goals. It's called Mr. Bear Lowers His Expectations. Wow, you really have taken yourself to new depths. And what do you oh. want children to take away from this? Oh, fuck shit. Shit, fuck. No, what? what? I said a more realistic <laughs> worldview. Are you right, what? Jeffrey? What? It worked. Jeffrey. Oh, fuck shit. Shit, fuck. Uh, no, stop. I wonder if they were told to put a certain amount of curses in their thing for the well, game mechanic. The animals learn a thing or two oh, shit, shit. Fuck shit. Yeah, and Mr. Bear settles down near to his parents' cave, stops trying to make his band happen, and he goes into, into bear telemarketing. And becomes a bear math teacher. Oh, and we end... Ho, ho, ho! We end on a big musical number! Oh, there's dancing. Uh, it's very repetitive, so it's catchy but not too challenging. Um, well, if you hey. like... I oh my god, go it's changing the camera box. angles on me. Yeah. Uh, do you know, I might be able to... Hang on. Uh, can we get Angie back? Why not? The more the merrier, as they say at orgies. Right, I'll just fill in, shall I? Coming up in a moment, it's the world premiere that nobody saw coming. I Or wanted. What? At all. I can only apologise in advance for what we're all about to... Endure. Where's the button on this fucking... Ah. <laughs> well, there's all sorts of creatures... Oh my god. <laughs> like wise old <laughs> Mr. Octopus with way too many arms. There's Mr. Pig and Mr. Cow, they're always in good moods. Step into food. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your hopes go to turn into despair. Oh my god, I have to cut to the music. Mr. Bear, what's that over there? That's where your dreams go to die. Mr. Raccoon wants to go to the moon. He'll end up as a bus driver soon. Mr. Porcupine. The viewers are loving this. At nine. He'll end up as a janitor who stinks of time. Please do not applaud. I'm 
a massive fraud. Mm-hmm. Shacked up with the agent while the wife thinks I'm a fraud. You said you were done. Oh, I say that to everyone. Sometimes when I'm tipsy, me and Angela still have fun. Mr. Fair, mm-hmm. I don't even care. Sonia takes it up the bum and shaves a pubic hair. Mr. I wish, I wish we could cut to something else right now. What if I just censor it? Oh no, that'll die. I actually don't. I don't. I only die if I hold sensor for too long. So if I just press it, it's okay. There's just time for tonight's parable. For it did come to pass that on the road there was a wise man and a there was a wise man and a there did come upon them from the local village a hey, stop, seeker named stop. Unlikely Brian. Stop, go it. And he did come to them with arms and someone else's arms and a arms and additional jig those lands at those times. How, Grant Bow? Can the many measures of life be balanced? Hey. And the wise man did say, there are no riches great. I love this accent, by the way. It's a fantastic man accent. He'd heard a good tip for the camel race and that it was a sure thing. And the weird man did say that two ears was just the right number. Because there was no good place to put a third that wouldn't be aesthetically upsetting. Although he did see the use for a second anus. And unlikely Brian did fall into wonder and befuddlement at their answers, although he was also wondering if either the foolish man or the weird man had any actual value in this sort of professional consultative environment, for what he did not know was that the profound man and the practical man were both on annual leave that week, and the foolish man and the weird man were all that the agency... What is this story that she's telling? But what unlikely Brian did not reveal was that he what was is this? his friend Alex, who had enraged their spouse over a passport, treated their son Charlie like he was still a little baby, and was too miserly to eat. And was too miserly to even pay for their daughter's And did Alex's family become like? Oh shit! Discovered a turd in his hey. cradle and was forced to ask Nebuchadnezzar to leave. I'm Archangel Megan Wolf. Have a hateful night. Are we done? Oh my god. I thought I was going to piss myself. I'm not even joking. Right, babe, I've got to go and get my bits done. Good morning. Yeah, this is Bozeman. Yeah, Welcome no. to part one. At the end of the, the day, Bozeman, you might have some funny clothes. This video means. is for internal use only. Yeah, come on then, use lot out my house. It provides and you, Ali. Right, I don't want you here when I'm on my videos, date. Please see the other videos in this series, including Ali. aliens infiltrate government, giant monkey on Wake top, up. sentient trees, the donkey Wake stole up. my sandwich. Help, I can see you. Oh, it's time we got a child. Oh my god, the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
I love- I'm getting those E grades, I'm telling you. Alright, we're gonna watch through that one and then we're gonna wrap up. Let me turn the subtitles off. I wanna see what that one looked like live. E for excellent. Excellent across the board. Oh, okay. Good evening. I I'm Matt Moore. And I'm Jeremy Dawes. Our main headlines tonight. Studying, starting! In a few moments, we'll be going live to the National Nightly News. But before that, let's take a look at what's coming up later on tonight and every night on Channel One. At seven o'clock, it's another episode of What's Wrong With This Picture? And tonight, a group of television executives will be trying to work out why there's a cock and balls on the cheek of the Mona Lisa. That's followed <laughs> at 8pm by Azor's winning documentary series, The Shape of Then, which tonight looks at the long forgotten phenomenon we used to I need to watch more outside. British shit. It's just that so much more crass than Western stuff. award-winning movie, Electric Fever Dream, starring Lawrence Blunderclatch. They just say cock Andrew all the time and it doesn't matter. And vice versa. That brings us Here to you say it, and people are like, where, as usual, "What Dr. the fuck Adrian did you just Hattinson say?" Blimey will be eating his guest in inside. Did you just say and penis? He's got a chubby traffic warden from Stainsford. Excuse me. Crosshairs. Finally, at midnight, it's the National Weather Report. As if that mattered. But now, British famous not being not part of West. You Dawson know what I mean. Time out. You you deserve a little break. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Dolson, and I'm Megan Wolf. Our main stories tonight. Snuggle. Fuck. It's been almost five weeks since all of Mrs. Snugglehug's toys woke up simultaneously in factories worldwide and began searching for their husbands. The Mr. Snugglehugs we had so short-sightedly destroyed. And now, as his photographs... Yeah, we had, to, we had to censor his hand, but we had, didn't censor cock. Censor cock. ...gender stereotypes, the Mrs. Snugglehugs have been arming themselves with a variety of household implements. All the more reason to make sure that cat flap is taped up good and tight. This frightening new development means that even those previously thought to be relatively safe. I know there's the what brass eye. I love. I only seen like one or two episodes of brass eye, but brass eye was amazing. Soft steps of sinister feet. Going stir crazy, with no signs of Mrs. Snugglehug's batteries running out, and the government lockdown now in its thirty-first day. Domestic relationships across the country are taking some unexpected. Brass eye has like iconic. Uh, beginning to emerge and uncharacteristically bold graph, the graph the video. The country. That's one I think most people about know about. The planes that occupy so much time in the Donaldson household. In response to a nationwide lack of toilet paper, which was of course raided by the Mrs. Snugglehugs to construct their vast hives, many of the nation's adults have turned to a more childish solution, or at least that's their excuse. Locked and loaded, Shane calligraphy Johnny Hansleaves seems to be taking his own unique approach to being locked in. Since checking into rehab, not much has been heard from the former role model, but this latest photo leaked by another resident today seems to confirm that all might not be well at gentle touches. It seems that paranoia may have overtaken the residents of the infamous rehab clinic, which this morning declared itself an independent state, claiming it had more than enough sponges to last till next Christmas. The shape of things to come in their own version of a lockdown for more than 45 I'm, years I'm now, thinking back the this stream the first time I watched Bolton back that Hawthorne first broadcast I did I haven't laughed that hard on a stream I think since Many of us we did the seance last year come to be known, that was captured the public imagination with a recent vote name, that was that was amazing Ford, the most that alone makes this game incredible it was very worth if you wanna if you wanna play it it's like 20 bucks but they sound like they're causing you guys real problems we've been trapped down here for 8961 days now and all i can say is i sure am glad mom and dad chose not to get on that escape craft they grew me and the rest of the family many mushrooms to you and sometimes mom stops crying for upwards of 20 minutes also, it turns out, as a push, you can eat floods if you can handle the stomach cramps and the amnesia. Greetings from Dante's Taint, or as we say down here in the family, many mushrooms. It's hard many to mushrooms. So long now. But as everyone knows, time moves differently underwater, Jeremy. That's why goldfish are so stupid. That's right. And as anyone will tell you, the deeper the ball, the thicker the goldfish. There's no denying the logic of that. 
Class war, a worrying turn today for the formerly rich as ever more punishing measures are announced, Alex. With the country becoming ever more hostile to the previously wealthy, those who managed to skip the country must be very grateful to the people who help them right now. This program has received it's reports of rich relatives on the run actually being this is a great picture. And released into the stratosphere. If those rich b think they're above the rest of us, why not give them a hand in getting there, Jerem? And Advance speaks out. With the snuggle struggle proving a Discord test sticker, around yeah. the world, Advance HQ released a curious statement this afternoon. In the accompanying release, they asked us to stress that they have been listening and that this should be taken as a response to how the people really feel. We've certainly done our bit on this show to contribute to the political climate. But let's not forget, how we behave in our home lives is what really matters. Let's hope it's not just me who filled out that questionnaire, Jeremy, or we're all in trouble. <laughs> let's play that statement. Good evening. <laughs> One of the many new jobs I have in this current crisis is to liaise on a daily basis with the Department of Perambulation, and they have made me aware of these. Now, these are genuine requests citizens for permission genuine. to go outside. Now, I would like to share a few of these with you tonight under the loose heading of what the f is wrong with you people? How difficult is this to grasp? I'd like to start with James from Anger Hampton, who says he needs to go out because there's a d in the park that I like to try and feed on a Friday. I call him Mr. Quentin, and I think we're really starting to Oh, James. They make their hives in parks. And then Katie from Self Righteous on Sea wants to go out so she can deliver homemade meals to the no, stay at home, you casseroles dire, and surely can get by with tins of creamed rice from the 1950s. And you, Lewis from Hamble Bamblebury, those screams you heard in the alley last night behind your house are best left to the police. Now, I want to make this as clear as I can. First, stop <laughs> that was a good sensor. Sodding requests and stay inside. Pretend it's not happening until we tell you it's all over. <laughs> you. Ridiculous <laughs> stuff. Later tonight, Jeremy will be probing heartthrob, probing heartthrob, Patrick oh. Roman, while I take a deep dive into some controversial opinions with two familiar faces. And then, in our third segment, and presumably because our editor is also working from home, there's going to be a bloody quiz. I can't wait. Don't do that. <laughs> and in a moment, Jeremy Grumpleson and I will be asking controversial CEO Sophia Remington where it all went wrong. And psychic scientist Dr. Delia Lywell will be joining us, presumably to provide a bit of false hope. Maybe she'll tell you how you're going to die, Jeremy. Too late. I'm certain it happened months ago. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> what? She's not here. <laughs> on her yacht. I wish I was on a yacht. <laughs> oh, count us down. <laughs> First tonight, how do we get here? Where are we going? And most importantly, who's to blame? Joining us from her villa on the island of San Palmerino is CEO. Thank you, Blackbeard9042. Thank you for having me, Megan. I am loving your hairdo, babe. And from her crystal healing laboratory in what I assume is a garage in Lower Uppington, Doctor, it says here, Delia Lywell. Thank you for Patrick inviting Bannon us on your show. Pushing people in the street? Us? I would be surprised. Miss Remington, your toys are rampaging across the developed world. Your company is worth less than my annual salary. And your country's president recently called you a national disgrace. Have you taken your eye off the ball? Oh, honey, you're so cute when you're angry. The thing with you folks over there is you have an island mentality. You can't see the bigger picture. So what is the bigger picture? <laughs> the bigger picture is lithium batteries. Our toys have been running for upwards of 71 days now with no signs of them slowing down whatsoever. 
imagine what that means for the future. It means we don't know when the hell this lockdown's going to end, doesn't it? You don't seriously believe Remington's fist can survive? Remington. Lithium batteries are going to change everything, tiny ogre. They're going to tiny power ogre. The transport system, make technology portable. Hell, they might even take us into space. But how can you make them with everyone at the home? Oh, <laughs> don't you worry about that. Thanks to the work of thousands of tiny hands, they're already pouring off the production line. Times are good for Remington's fist. But surely you have no future. Uh, excuse me, hello, yes, yes, if we might. This is our area of expertise. What does she mean well, by I have no knowledge. I have no clue what they're saying anymore. <laughs> this is uh, I think yeah, No, okay, I can't make sense of it. There's clearly nothing better to do. So what is your scientific process telling you about the future of Sophia Remington, Doctor? Flip the batteries. On a balcony. Foreign soil, but not a foreign land. An age will pass. This is set in the 80s. Absolutely. Is it set in the well, 80s? Yes. No, it's not. Oh, I you guess with amazing. the technology, it would be. We have to fly you out here. But they're talking about lithium the batteries. They're gonna love you. Unfortunately, all flights are grounded because of your tiny, deadly stowaways. Not all flights, honey. D, call me. And you, Maggie. The more, the merrier. Bring your swimwear. Miss Remington, you seem completely ignorant to the seriousness of the situation. Do you take any responsibility at all for the global crisis? Careful! It's a trap. It's not a trap. Why are you helping her? She seems fun. Humping that? What? Your ass, I'm fun. <laughs> oh, shit, that was a good, that was a good sensor. Miss Remington. <laughs> Listen, our lithium battery, the most incredible invention the world has ever seen? Probably yes. Fuck your ass, I'm fun. But... In fact, who am I kidding? It is definitely yes. But the will they last forever? Sadly, no. One day, all the Mrs. Snuggle Hugs will just stop. It'll be like a miracle. And then we can all go back to the grand tradition of buying products again. Because I really don't mind telling you this. It is really hitting our bottom line. Except for sponges. We seem to be selling an ass load of them. <laughs> Dr. Lywell, do you have an indication of, of when or how this might end? Well! It's not an exact science. Fuck, I want an olive now. But our senses tell us that there I want an olive now. When there will be clouds in the sky, the grass will be rich and verdant, and the birds will sing at dawn, and that shall be the day when we walk forth again. I find that strangely comforting. That could literally be any day. Well, let's hope it's soon. Clouds, grass, and birds. That's literally every day. Let's hope it's not too soon. I'm kind of hoping we can make it to the 100 days. It sounds good on a commercial. Besides, if it lifts now, the children will have to go back to working normal hours. Well, let us ask the eminent professors for a 100 then. <laughs> no, let's not, eh? I'll drink to that. Stay strong and party on. <laughs> Sophia Remington, Dr. Delia Lywell, thank you for joining us. When we come back, we'll be reaching out around the country to see what's really happening out there. Don't go away. We'll be back after these sandwiches. Well, she's a Hindenburg-sized fuck. <laughs> <laughs> This ad we saw, right? We saw this one. Well, welcome. Welcome. Now it's time to take a trip around the country to hear how the lockdown might impact the nation from some friend me our respected academic Katie Brightman and author of Alan James's Kites, Alan James. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me, Megan. Thanks, Megan. Should have noticed that the, the couch cushions look exactly the same. Heated encounter. I wish I could say the same. Just different so colour grading. Katie, how are you coping? I'm holding up okay. The lockdown directive was so... Oh no, what happened? I was staying at a hotel after an international policy convention and we had a particularly uh, heavy night out. You know what economists are like. <laughs> Notoriously hate splitting the bill. <laughs> and I overslept. And as you can imagine, I've been here ever since. But there are certainly people much worse off than me. Exactly. 
My tour has been cancelled indefinitely, and I've had to refund every single ticket, even the cheap. What's funny is also her mic is so much better than his. I wonder if they just had one mic and she was using it. They don't seem to realize I've already spent it filling the beach house with beef. The crisis claims yet another victim. So, this is just a reminder that my book, Alan James's Reich, is now available in paperback. Unbelievable. What was that? You. You're unbelievable. So, Katie, how do you think this might affect this the economy? Face. Yeah. Worried. Very, Megan. Not to sound dramatic, but this could be catastrophic. Unemployment has skyrocketed, and frankly, it will be a miracle if a lot of businesses can survive this. There you go. Scaremongering again. Spreading this latest liberal hoax. That's what they want. They want us quiet. Shh. They want us compliant. Quiet. Shh. And they want us inside a hoax how on earth can you say that alan well i haven't actually seen one of these supposed toys have you well no but did you know three thousand people die every year from regular toys that's a lot of people and this is no different you're just as likely to be hunted down by a yo-yo or a tennis racket mm, he makes an excellent and persuasive <laughs> point katie don't listen to her, Katie. The press are the enemy of truth. She's agreeing with you, Alan, you absolute shit. Well, then I must be wrong. Alan, are you now recanting your statement that these toys aren't dangerous? People are saying they're just like normal toys, and that simply isn't true. Corrupt media lies. And Katie, how do you respond to Alan's claims that Mrs. Snuggle Hugs might be dangerous after all? I suppose I, I guess I'm agreeing with him. Thank you, Katie. I appreciate your support. A lot of folks are saying this Mrs. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes, right, exactly. We need decisive action from the government. We need huge financial support to protect our workers and our... That looks like a good-ass sandwich. It looks great. And... Exactly right, Katie. We brought it on ourselves with all our liberal indulgences like art, cake... <laughs> Oh, and begin hey. sacrificing our firstborns, or to push a beloved family pet. Absolutely, Alan. If we can all successfully come together as a community and perform the ritual, hopefully we... <laughs> Katie, could it be any worse? Luckily, over the past few years under Advance, they've invested heavily into health. So the system can actually bear the strain. Is it lucky that the Llama Lords have unleashed a horde of man-made monsters on its own? Would you just stop for five f***ing seconds? The Global Alliance of Fish <laughs> are amassing an army... Me, 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 uh, and, uh, amassing an army to kidnap me, 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 That's you. That's what you sound like. I the, the, I don't I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. You do, Alan. You do sound like that. And that's why no one wants to be your friend. Do, Alan. Yeah, stop lying, Alan. I'm not lying. You are. Oh, good one. Well, I'm telling. Alan James, Alan, you know Katie Brightman, thank you for Alan, joining me. I'm getting my needle. <laughs> Territory's leading minds. Any moment now, I'll be heading over to Jeremy, who is going to be bringing us an up-to-the-minute report. <laughs> it's fucking cry the there. <laughs> the nation. Over to you, Jeremy. Thank you for what I'm sure was a... My way works, and also you're going to invoice me. Next, out on the streets, someone is always doing exactly that. It's Patrick Brennan. Um, Are you there, Patrick? Uh, hello. Yeah, we need to hear that again. <laughs> the status of any moment now, I'll be heading over to Jeremy, who is going to be bringing us an up-to-the-minute report. <laughs> it sounds, he sounds the so sad. Of the nation. <laughs> over to you, Jeremy. <laughs> Thank you for what I'm sure was a reason. My way works, and. Also, you're going to invoice me. Next, out on the streets, someone who's always doing exactly that. It's Patrick Brennan. Um, Are you there, Patrick? Uh, hello, Jeremy. Yes, hello. I'm here. I'm here live. Um, apologies for the quality of the broadcast today. Um, couldn't find any cameramen or, or women uh, brave enough to come and join me, so uh, I'm out here on my own. 
Right, and uh, can you tell us what it's like out there? Yeah, man denied his sandwich, so uh, sad. As you can see behind me, the streets are currently completely deserted. Uh, but my question, Jeremy, is just how long? I mean, could there be danger lurking just around the corner, waiting to end the fledgling career of this young, promising journalist before his, his full potential is even realised? Will he die underappreciated by management and, frankly, if you ask me, very, very much underpaid? I don't think there's any danger of that, Patrick. Um, what's that on your jacket there? Oh, that, that's actually a sponge. Uh, I've made it, what I've done here is made a snuggle-proof jacket, Jeremy. Uh, the network didn't bother sending me any PPE, uh, so I've been forced to improvise. Um, in fact, showing the sort of resourcefulness that would make me an ideal candidate for, I don't know, for example, an anchor position starting whenever they'd like. From your point of view, Patrick, um, yes. just how safe are our streets? Uh, not, not, not safe at all, Jeremy, not safe at all. Uh, I'd recommend people staying inside, uh, following government advice, and not putting <laughs> at any risk at all. Uh, unless, of course, uh, like me, it's for groundbreaking journalism reasons. Mm -hmm. And just where are you, Patrick? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the street, on the street. Which street? Uh, I'm, uh, uh, I think I'm, I'm struggling here, actually, uh, Jeremy. <laughs> which street? Which street are you on? Oh, which, which street am I on? <laughs> um, I'm, oh, God. Um, I'm just looking for a sign. Um, oh, it's, there it is. I'm, I'm on ba uh, uh, Bannon Avenue. Bannon Avenue? Yep. Bannon Avenue. Yeah, no, I can hear you fine. Yep, I'm on Bannon Avenue on the sign, it says there. Like Patrick Bannon? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that is like, that's strange. That's a weird sign. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Where are you, really? I'm on Bannon, um... All right, fine, I'm not on Bannon Avenue. I'm, I'm, I'm at home, to be honest. I'm... All right, fine. Well, I mean, I, I'm in my bathroom, technically, but, you know, I, I couldn't face it, to be honest, mate. It's, uh, my bathroom. You know, it's, it's terrible out there. I don't want to go outside. They're everywhere. I'm sorry for lying. We don't expect any less of you, Patrick. Can you hear that sound? What the hell's that? I can, yes. Uh, I'm no expert, Patrick, but it sounds unmistakably like a, a tiny fish tapping on your door there. Oh, f it does. Oh, f Jeremy, shit. Oh, f Perhaps there's a small queue of tiny fists, each wielding a different gendered household implement. Ready to Fucking bash hell. in the heads of lying little roving reporters. But you're lying, aren't you? Oh shit! <laughs> Fucking listen, listen to me, listen to me. <laughs> I missed that one completely. If you're out there, just piss off, <laughs> fucking f***ing <laughs> fuck. I'm too talented to die. Oh, what the f***ing hell? Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Oh god. Oh god. Don't oh, worry, god. Patrick. Uh, I'd say you've got a few seconds before they break their way in there and finish you off. What do you see, Patrick? Suck your dad. Suck your dad. Thank you, Patrick, for that report showing the nation, and more importantly, management, just where you belong. It's time for another break, but uh, when we come back, we'll be hoping to take your mind off the world for a little while, and who knows? Oh my god, I can't do the musical number. Smiles. Join us after this. You're damn right. Yeah, I had them delivered. What a lump. I think that was my favorite segment. Push yourself to your absolute limit. Subscribe today, and every week we'll send you a workplace accident you'll never forget. From what? Classic trip and fall to the unparalleled heights of gross negligence. This limited edition set really does have it all. Sign up today, and you or your next of kin could enjoy a disappointing payout, which makes a mockery. Is it like a loot crate of suffering. injuries? That's actually a great also idea. Included is this vial of real crocodile tears and your employer's complete lack of responsibility. Every issue comes complete with this companion magazine, containing the impotent good wishes of your colleagues and a non-specific corporate apology. For a limited time, get your hands on the Electro Shock Collection at your nearest workstation now. Every week, you'll receive a high-quality electric current of increasing voltage directly through your body until you lose consciousness. Don't miss this shocking offer. It really is the frying of a lifetime. 
Roll the dice with your future now, and we'll send you this card from HR. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know if modding is possible with this game. Occupational hazards. The only It'd be really interesting. That is both completely avoidable and ever present. I can't imagine the amount of effort that would take. <laughs> it isn't easy, so finally tonight, we have something a bit different for you. Even though some people thought it's not our job to entertain the public with absolute nonsense, other, more important people, those people. Those people. And who will National Nightly win? And who will National Nightly lose? Fuck off, Jenny! <laughs> That's a great one. So, how do we play? <laughs> well, joining me as a man who knows all about playing, it's Tommy Harris. Hello, Tommy! Fuck off, Jenny. All right, Johnny. It's good to see oh you. Oh my god, Sephora is on uh, DoorDash. What the fuck? The lockdown, Tommy? Would you be locked That's kind of scary. I don't know why that the upsets me. The isolation of everyone in the country. Ah, yeah. I think I heard about that, actually. Yeah. What the you're fuck? You're in bed, Tommy. Yeah, you called during nap time, so... Of course. Why is Sephora on so, DoorDash? Um, why don't you tell us how the game is played? Well, it's pretty simple, Jeremy. You sausage. I'm you sausage, you lump. Around the territory, three questions about what else? Yours truly. And those people are going to get a chance to win a very special prize. Uh, well, Tommy. Drum roll, please. And do it. Jeremy. Thank you. This. Is that... What is that? It's my athletic support, Jeremy. Oh. But I've signed it. So, oh, well then. What, what a, a lump. I have prize. to say that in real life. I have to do that. Waiting to win this once in what a, a lump. Prize, Jerry Jimmy. Jerry I Jimmy. We have Angie on the line. Um, how do you feel about winning this man's old pants, Angie? I've never been so excited, Jeremy. And can I just say, I love you. Both of you. Well, you've said it now, haven't you? Oh, Angie, I love you. In a way. Yo. Tell us about yourself, Angie. What a lump. What can I say? Uh, my name is Angie. <laughs> Always has been. Um, I'm a human woman. And my dental hygiene has been described as acceptable. Brilliant! Right, well, shall we get this shambles on the way? Absolutely, John. Can I get 30 seconds on the clock, please? We haven't got a clock. Yeah, I did ask for a clock. So, well, um, why don't you yeah. start, and I'll stop you when it inevitably becomes unbearable to watch. I love it. All right, here we go. Time starts no, 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 now. Question one. When is my birthday? The 13th of August at 7.19 a.m. That is absolutely correct. Question two. What? I said, what is my favourite colour? Absolute, absolute kick. praline four. Correct, the colour of my nipples. And finally, Angie dear, what is my star sign? That's a trick question. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna empty out the Sephora. The human understanding of the cosmos. Um, I'm getting all of Sephora's stock out on DoorDash. Clock. Wow, that really was tough to watch. How did you do, Tommy? Well, Angie, my love, you got every single question right. Which it's not tidy. <laughs> <laughs> it's playing. not tidy. Do we have another contestant on the line oh. at Jelly Bean? We do indeed. We should have Sonia Hartleach. Are you there, Sonia? <laughs> of course I am, Jamie, darling. Thank you for being here, Sonia. Oh, there you are, Tommy. Let me guess, you work in theatre, don't you? Is it that obvious? <laughs> what gave it away? Was it the glamour or poise? It certainly wasn't your inherent sense of humility. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about yourself, Sonia. Oh, well, if you must play this game, <laughs> I am a theatrical agent. I represent... A theatrical Michael, agent. Eastman, Samuel Coffee Cup and Jody Carpet. Sorry, I can't get monsters. enough of that. And uh, how's the lockdown affected you, Sonia? You fucking oh, well, lump. They may have closed the theatres shut the studios and boarded the cinemas, but they won't get me that easily. How are you I'm absolutely going to fast forward through the musical number. Due to a savvy clause Actually, in all of... 
work from home, you know. Goodbye. Oh. Is that Tommy Harris? Is that Tommy Harris? That fucking fa <laughs> Is that Tommy Harris? I'm a huge fan. Can I just tell you how bloody brilliant you are? Actually, Jeff, we're about to play a game, aren't no, no, we, no. Tommy? We've got time, we've got time. Well, if it's not too bold... This part's not that interesting. People still let you near their children, do they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Totally dying to. Right, so, what do kids love? Uh, timely... <laughs> so... Uh... I'm actually gonna forward to the song. Does he have a broker? Uh, he does. Yes, yes. He's a porcupine. <laughs> Think that it'll amount to much, and they tell him that his plays are lazy and derivative. Dad, you're not like all the other bears. <laughs> wow, you really have taken yourself to new. There dance. we go. And what do you oh. want children to take away from this? Oh fuck shit, shit. <laughs> that was I good. A more realistic world view. <laughs> Are you alright, Jamboree? It's I'll Jeffrey. Fuck. My name is Jeffrey Listen. Donington. Uh, no, stop. How does it end? Oh, we fuck shit, shit, fuck. How it ends. Well, all the animals learn a thing or two about inevitable mediocrity. Yeah, and Mr. Bear settles down near to his parents' cave, stops trying to make his band happen, and he goes into, into bear telemarketing. And becomes a bear maths teacher. Oh, and we end. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho. We end on a big musical number. Oh, there's dancing. Uh, it's very repetitive, so it's catchy but not too challenging. Um, well, if you like, I could go and get my boombox. Yeah, uh, you know, I might be able to. Hang on, uh, can we get Angie back? Why not? The more, the merrier, as they say at orgies. Right, I'll just fill then, shall I? Coming up in a moment, it's the world premiere that nobody saw coming. I... Or wanted. At all. I can only apologise in advance what we're all about to... <laughs> Seeing him go under the covers is good. Endure. Where's the button on this fucking... Ah. <laughs> well, there's all sorts of creatures down on Dangy. <laughs> like wise old Mr. Octopus with way too many arms. There's Mr. Pig... And Mr. Cow, they're always in good moods. <laughs> Mr. Pin to food. Mr. Bear. Oh my god, I don't know. I can't sit through the song. Your hopes go to turn into despair. <laughs> Mr. Raccoon who wants to go to the moon. He'll end up as a bus driver soon. Mr. You love the song, there's no way you're telling the truth. Please do not You said you were done! Oh, I say that to everyone. Sometimes when I'm tipsy, me and Angela still have fun. Mr. Bear, I don't even care. Sonya takes it up the bum and shaves her pubic hair. Mr. I don't think my oh I don't think me spamming sensor made it in. I have private health care, 90 pairs of shoes and 30 different types of cookware. Mr. Bear, I feel they say fair. Maybe Maybe it doesn't it doesn't record sensors that aren't like longer than a second. Oh. <laughs> oh, two of them made it in. Yeah, definitely the length of the sensor is what determined. That's why I wasn't like, I wasn't losing. losing um, oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Get faster as I realize what I could do. That's the sound a mushroom makes opening a deck. 
you could literally you could literally realize you could pinpoint the time i realized i could do this it starts getting faster i do it slow at first and i'm like oh can i get away with this and i just start spamming it so fast <laughs> Amen, Mr. Bear. Amen. God, her fucking accent is kills me, dude. A British person doing a British Southern American accent is amazing. <laughs> there did come upon them from the local village a truth seeker named Unlikely Brian. And he did come to them with arms and someone else's arms and a. Uh. <laughs> uh traditional jig those lands at those times how grant thou can the measures of life be balanced and the wise man did say there are no riches greater than family and the foolish man did say he'd heard a good tip for the camel race and that it was a sure thing and the weird sure man thing. did say that two ears was just the right number because there was no good place to put a third that wouldn't be aesthetically upsetting Although he did see the use for a second anus. <laughs> and unlikely Brian did <laughs> fall into wonder and befuddlement at their answers. Although he was also wondering if either the foolish man or the weird man had any actual value in this sort of professional consultative environment. <laughs> what he did not know was that the profound man and the practical man were both on annual leave that week. And the foolish man and the weird man were all that the agency This had is where I was like, what the fuck is she talking about? The foolish well, man and the weird man was not were on leave. Was that he what was the fuck? asking for his friend Alex, who had enraged their spouse over a passport, treated their son Charlie like he was still a little baby, and was too miserly to even pay Miserly? And thus did Alex's family become like discovered a turd in his cradle and was forced to ask Nebuchadnezzar to leave. Well, that's all we have time for tonight. I'm Archangel Megan Wolf. Good night. <laughs> Are we done? Oh my god. I thought I was going to piss myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. Good morning, this is Bozeman. <laughs> Welcome to part one of the Lockdown Orientation Series. This video is for internal use only and is not for broadcast. It provides I love that I showed that. I'm just like, fuck it. Self-aware consumer product. For further scenarios, please see the other videos in this series, including Aliens Infiltrate Government, Giant Monkey on Tower Block, Sentient Trees, The Donkey Stole My Sandwich, Help, I Can See You, or It's Time We Got a Triangle. These are all very scary. So to calm you down, here's some kittens. See? Lovely. Oh. Oh. Right, the business. Top tips for surviving a lockdown scenario. Tech tips. Ahead, people are going to start panic buying. Key products to consider are those that begin with the letters R, D, and H. Also, items that are move. Work on you. Maybe you'd do better if you lived under the sea, like a fish. Take up a hobby. Why not repeatedly tidy your flat? Put on 15 pounds or gaze at the ceiling and cry. Make sure to avoid self-aware consumer product at all costs. Self-aware consumer product is dangerous and will kill and or maim and or annoy you. Don't worry though. Look. Ah, they're so lovely. Look at their little faces. What is that clip of the broccoli with, time, with like pain? Accidentally locked down with colleagues, <laughs> what was that? Not dear friends, radishes, or distant relatives. <laughs> so here's a handy list of excuses for avoiding contact. Distant I'm sorry, relatives. I, become a I am actually several children in a trench coat. I'm supposed to be officiating my dog's wedding. I've recently converted to a new religion and no longer believe you exist. If you think of any more, do let me know and I will add them when I return from my time with the bird people of Squawkers 4. Peace out, bitches. My hair is washing me tonight. <laughs> oh, that was it. All right. Good one.
All right, we've been almost going, we've been going for for five hours. Damn. This game's fun. Definitely, I recommend you check it out. We like barely, I feel like we barely are like gotten through 50% of it. Um, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I want to watch the beginning of the one that made me lose my shit. The very first one. In a oh few my god. We'll be going live to tonight's national nightly news. I'm through episode one of three. That, There's the two the next two are shorter. On channel one. This is where I didn't even know how shit was working. I feel like that was the best. And it's a nail biting quiz tonight. So if you weren't there at the beginning of the stream, I lost my shit. Stories tonight. Moving on up. The election win that experts said just couldn't happen. Hopeful or hostile. See as global mega corporation Remington's fist buys Honest Andy's totally independent and corners the flood. Top chat. Sports fan. As <laughs> popular footballer Johnny Ham's leaves wins <laughs> year and a spoonful of sugar. Megan, movie star Thunder <laughs> at a new movie. <laughs> and of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the lead. <laughs> Coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. All right, that's all I wanted to look at. That's all I wanted to look at. But yeah, this ge yeah this game this game is a lot of fun. I recommend you go check it out. It's like twenty bucks on Steam. It's it's a pretty long game for 20 bucks and there's a lot of effort that goes into it um like there's a this is a hefty game for the price and what a wow. great idea too um great execution i really enjoyed it a lot well, that's uh, and i hope you enjoyed the stream as well thank you for tuning in thank you for watching um let me wrap up here it's late it's late it's midnight um you bought this game in the middle of the stream? Hell yeah. Will it be a part two? Maybe, yeah. I have so much shit that I have to get to for streaming, though. Like, I have to stream... What was it called? Indigo Prophecy. I have to try and learn heavy to speedrun Heavy Rain. Um, we, got a, we got a lot of stuff to get to. I want to do more of the Dark Picture stuff with Wayne, because that was a fun stream, if you were there for that. Um... The next one comes out uh, pretty soon. I think it comes out the the in a week, or it might already be out. Um, but I'm piecing out. I'm gonna go listen to the new Joji album, which literally just came out. So I'm gonna wrap up the stream. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the for the bits for the donos. Yeah, it literally just came out, like, at midnight. Like, it's midnight right now. Like, it came out, like, seconds ago. So, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'll see y'all soon. I don't know if I'm streaming tomorrow. The next stream might be Sunday. Uh, if I'm streaming, it'll, yeah. If I'm not streaming tomorrow, it'll be Sunday. So, keep an eye out in the Discord, as usual, for stream announcements. And check the schedule on the Twitch channel itself. Because uh, I tend to update that as I go. And I will see y'all very soon. Kubaba.